to the Amstream, welcome to the Sci-Fi Show this Friday evening, <laughs> hey, and how are we all doing? Wow, okay, I'm excited tonight because as I get really excited when there's a brand new Amstrad CPC game, well, I say brand new-ish, because this one we're playing tonight, Sir Ababol Nez-OM Edition was actually released on my birthday back on March 15th. It's actually a game from 2018, but has only been released now to the public. I don't quite understand like the release dates and stuff like that. Um, so, with Sir Ababol, this is actually the third game released by the Mojon Twins. Oh, oh, oh! 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 Ho, ho. Holy crap! Pete Walker has just become a Patreon. Holy crap. Let's give him all the dancing sugars, some fireworks. Oh my God, Pete, thank you very, very much for the 10 pound Patreon. Oh my goodness gracious me, bananas in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, bananas in the chat. Let's see the bananas rain for Pete Walker. Holy crap. Pete, thank you very, very, very much for that. Welcome to the Am Squad, Pete. Um, I shall drop you a personal message on Patreon tomorrow and give you all the scoop and inside info and all that kind of stuff. But like, oh, yeah, socially dis uh, distancing Mr. Sugars not or not there. Wow, thank you, man. Thank you. Um, so where's Pete in the chat? There he is. <coughs> so you get the Spanner of Doom <laughs> next to your name as well. Enjoy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Wow, sorry, that's just thrown me for complete for six. Pete dropped a 6128 donation in the stream. Uh, I think it was last week or the week before. And it's now become a patron. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right, um, Pete, I need to count. I can't spend too long giving you lots of love. Uh, but I have to, like, get on with greetings and stuff. But, Pete, I'll send you a personal message tomorrow, mate. But thank you. Thank you from. It means a lot to me and Mrs. Uh, Zypho. So, thank you, man. Wow, what a start. Um, so where was I? Okay, there are three Sir Ababol games on the Amstrad uh, from the Mojon Twins. Um, there was Sir Ababol in 2010, Sir Ababol 2, The Ice Palace in 2016. Now, then the Mojon Twins did Sir Ababol Remastered for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 2017. The one we're playing tonight is a port of that NES game, or NES game, sorry. But apparently this was entered into the Amsterdam Eterno 2018 competition, and it actually won best platform game there. But I'm not sure why it's only appearing now in 2020, released in March. Um, but also, I've read somewhere that this was included as a bonus game included on the Sir Ababol 2 cassette. So I'm, I'm really confused about this release. But there you go. If, if one of the Mojon twins is here tonight in the chat, please, um, please explain. 
And also, there's another new game from them, uh, Sir Cheryl of the Bosque in the Forest or something. I wanted to play that tonight, actually, but all the text is in Spanish. So, Mojo on Twins, if you're watching, get in touch. I will translate the Spanish to English for you, okay? Uh, if you're interested. We want to play it. We want to play it. Well, us Brits and people outside Spain, we want to play your games. Right. So, there we go. So, we're going to have a full playthrough of this tonight. Start to finish. I don't think it's a long game. Um, so, and then we'll just like descend into chaos with requests and random games and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get to the greetings. I'm going to try and get through these as quick as I can. Um, first in the chat tonight was da uh, David Selvi. David, hello, sir. Uh, and he's like, very excited about the new discovery of new Amstrad games. I can see there are many Amstrad fanboys <laughs> yeah. who are willing to find out something new in order to revive old school PCs. Great. Great stuff. Welcome, David. I hope you're still here. It was very, very early. An hour early. <laughs> Welcome, David. Oh, I forgot something. Something else happened a lot earlier uh, on the stream. Um, we had this come through at four hours ago. From Oi Oi Ratty, aka Rowing Perspective, aka Mr. Fong, now could just call Ratty. He had a three pound donation earlier. May not be on tonight, so I say my goodbyes and have a good stream. Oh, bless you, GP. Thank you, man, if you are here now, just in case, and or if you're watching or catch up, I've said my thank yous. Thank you, Mr. Fong. Bananas for Mr. Fong. Or oh, great perspective. Thank you, Ratty. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, dude. Right. Um, so, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Right. That was four hours ago, by the way. 5pm <laughs> this afternoon. Right, where was I? Um, okay. Next in the chat was Darren Connor. Good evening, mate. Uh, instead of grinding uh, Final Fantasy 15 while watching this, I'm working on my painting. Is that the Beatles one, sir? I hope it's going well. Um, it's looking very, very nice. You know, you, people can see it in my Discord. Mr. Craig Wilson is next. He guessed correctly. I did flop into my chair tonight. So well done, Craig. Um, and stream points for you tonight. Well done, sir. Well done. Next in, we have Mr. Yellow Belly. Uh, so it's good morrow, sir, knights and fair ladies. <laughs> Nice. I could, I could just hear that in your voice, Yellow Belly. Yeah. Yellow Belly is one of those key workers looking after vulnerable adults, putting himself and his family at risk. So, big salutes to Yellow Belly during, during all this crisis at the moment. You are a legend, sir. And make sure you check out Yellow Belly's live stream on YouTube on Sundays at about 7 38 pm. And he's doing Undiscovered Gems of the Amsterdam CPC, and it's a great, great stream. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be joining in. I think Mrs. Zypho will be as well, because they're doing a pub quiz. Nearly forgot. It's a pub quiz night, actually, on Sunday. Tell us more in the chat, Yellow Belly. Next team, we've got Johnny Boy. Ahoy, Johnny Boy, as well. Good evening, sir. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing? Always lovely to have you here, mate. Hey, Kev Howell, welcome back, dude. Good evening, man. How have you been? I hope you and your family are safe and well. And much love to you. Next up, we've got Mrs. Zypho, Kate White. And she's called me the Amswalk, so... But thank you, babe, for letting me stream, as always. Lots of love to Mrs. Zypho there. And uh, without her, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, next in, we've got Texie88. Hello, Texie. Welcome back, sir. Becoming a real regular now, and that's lovely to see. So welcome back, man, and I hope you're all right. Hey, a welcome return for Zimwazi. Good evening, sir, or good morning. It's actually morning for me, because I do night shifts. But um, whereabouts are you again, Zimwazi? Welcome, man. Uh, next in, we've got Scott M. Good evening, mate. How are you doing? Love the Doom, av Doom Guy avatar as always. Scott, how's tricks, man? Um, we have Dr. Matt Lee here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Uh, but he's only with us for an hour, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and crack on, Matt. I'll try and crack on. <laughs> then we've got Darren Park, a.k.a. Claude Reigns. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. How you doing, man? And hope all is good with... What's, the, what's your dog's name? Neat or something? 
Take the dog's good and behave in uh, him or herself this evening for you. Next in, we've got Brian Hooper. Hello, sir. Welcome. Sunny, sunny, wintry, hot and cold Gloucester. Woo! Uh, sunny and wintry. Oh, because it gets really, really cold this evening, doesn't it? Welcome, Brian. Good to have you here again, mate. Lovely to see you becoming a real regular here as well. Um, next in, we've got Yasiek. Good evening, sir. Yasiek, welcome, my friends. How are you doing, man? Lovely to have you here. Next in, Walden Newman. Walden Grumpy Man. How are you, mate? We missed you on Marbles last night, Walden. We are like, where's Walden and his reggae? But welcome, mate. How are you doing as well? Um... And then I see Mr. Pete Walker again in the chat first there. Welcome, Pete. Thank you again, mate. Thank you. Next in, we've got Darren Carl. Good evening, Darren. How are you doing? There with the Zyphail emote <laughs> for his avatar. Uh, so I jump the shower with that one. I have to stream on in the background. If you say my name out loud, I will hear you and I'll be on to properly rush around 10. Darren Carl! <laughs> Hurry up in the shower, mate. Welcome, man. Welcome. <laughs> um... People having fun of the night bot there. Good stuff. Crazy Borg, my crazy German friend. Good to see you again, mate. Welcome. How have you been holding up, dude? And what's going on with you? Welcome, man. Welcome. Then we've got Mr. Richard Jimenez in the chat. Good evening, sir. Welcome to you too, man. Um, God, I'm losing my voice here a bit. But Gazi, how you doing, mate? As well, good to see you. Um, how are you, my rock and metal loving friends? Good to have you here. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very welcome return of Mr. Steve Foster. Says, hello, princess. Wink. Hello, Steve. Virtual e-hugs to you and lots of kisses to Mr. Steve Foster. How you doing, man? We have missed you on the Amstreams. Steve is one of the most loveliest and positive people here and he's not been able to tune in for a long time because his laptop got broke but he fixed it this week and he has returned welcome steve welcome uh, i'm gonna give you a dancing sugar to welcome you back steve there you go enjoy your dancing sugar <laughs> uh okay moving on we've got respergu respergu how you doing man i like is that a pon pon emote you're doing there i don't know are you pon ponning not sure. Rispergu, how are you doing, sir? Welcome, my friend. Lovely to have you here. Um, oh, we've got Drew Pazza here with the new name of the video game and fairground channel. Uh, welcome, mate. Drew Pazza, hope you're all having a nice evening. Looking forward to a new game on Amsterdam. Me too, mate. Me too. Oh, just hit there, mate. You might want to check the spelling of fairground. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to be checking out your channel uh, later, mate. And I'll, I'll see what your videos are, man. Welcome. I didn't know you had your own YouTubes. Uh, next in we've got Zombie Peaks. Good evening, Mr. Zombie Peaks. Again, lovely to see a, an old face here uh, <laughs> coming back. Welcome, Zombie. Hope you're all right, mate. Next in we've got Jimmy Taylor, another very, very lovely and positive member of the community here. Good evening, my friend. Um, hold off on the requests for now. We're going to do this and then we'll take requests. Uh, Lotus, though, he wants later. I uh, yeah, I might do a bit of Lotus. Get the Yams car out the garage. Welcome back again there, Steve. Um, uh, oh, there's Ratty in the chat. Ratty, we replayed your uh, dono earlier and gave you some love. I hope you saw that. <laughs> Thank you again, Ratty. Welcome, my friends. Hope you're sticking around tonight. It'll be lovely to have you here as always. Um, okay, am I nearly caught up? Yes, uh, yes, Steve, Mrs. Zypho is here. She's Kate White in the chat. Uh, she'll be very happy to see you. <laughs> uh, next, we've got 16-Bit Jay. Good evening, sir. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. How have you been, Jay? Always lovely to see you here as well. Same to Mr. Tom's Fom. Good evening, Tom's Fom. How are you doing, sir? I hope you and your family are safe and well, my friends. Welcome. Um, I need a drink. Mal. My mouth's drying up. So many people to greet. Um, Maud is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Maud. Oh. <laughs> Sir Alan Sugar has donated two pounds 
Request Sir Ababol. I will get the game, I promise. <laughs> Request Sir Ababol. I pr uh, <laughs> Lord Sugar is here, ladies and gentlemen. We are honoured. Thank you. Uh, whoever, <laughs> whoever the real Sir Alan Sugar is there. Uh, bananas in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you, whoever that was. I could log into my PayPal and see who that was. But bananas in the chat for Lord Sugar. But I don't think it really was him, though. He's like, I, I didn't bloody bleeding donate. <laughs> I can't do Cockney. Anyway. There's a promo bit on my channel for the quiz. Oh, yellow buddy. After Sabat Ababolt, remind me and we'll play it live on the stream tonight. Okay, promise. But just have, you just have to remind me because I'll forget. <laughs> Brian Hooper says, what's my t-shirt tonight? It is Spy Hunter again. Look at that. Hey. Love the artwork of Spy Hunter. But where was I? Good evening, Maud. Welcome, Maud. Uh, oh, so it was you're in Australia. Nice, nice. Excellent. Uh, so, good day, mate, and all that. <laughs> Uh, Johnny, oh yeah, actually, Zimwazi, how did the Amstrad sell in Australia? We do have some Australians, I know, that have the Amstrad, so I think it was sold briefly in Australia. Tell us the story, if you know it. Uh, Johnny B's getting drunk of Tesco Value Vodka, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Retro Bitter, hello, welcome to the stream, my friends. Good evening to you too, sir, welcome, welcome. Dexy says, while well, I admit I was never an Amstrad owner, it's still interesting to see how some type of splinter me from the specky playing days translated across to other platforms. Oh, that's nice. I'm, I'm really happy you've come and joined in on the AM streams then, man. I mean, look, we sometimes joke about make jokes about the specky and the Commodore 64. It's all done in good humour, of course. Because secretly, we all do love a bit of all the retro systems. And I have a lot of love for specky and Commodore. Obviously, my first love is the Amstrad and nothing will shake that. But, like, uh, we do love our Spectrum cousins, though. They are, you, the Spectrum is quite well related to the Amstrad. 60BJ um, asks, uh, do you eat food traditionally for dinner to breakfast? Tonight, yes. I've had a lasagna tonight. Because Mrs. Zypho likes one as well. We like to sit together and have an evening together. And that's what I do on a Friday. Other oh, days of the week, though, I'll like, try and have a bowl of fruit with some na low-fat natural yoghurt. That's my breakfast to start off to start off with. Xiphone's my namesake. Good evening, sir. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? All right, guys, we'll get to the game very, very shortly. I think I'm nearly caught up with everyone. My pleasure, Steve. It's just real joy and lovely to see you back here, Mr. Foster. Hey, Velociraptor. Velo, how are you doing, buddy? Lovely to see you here again, mate. Welcome, man. Ah. Bratty, thank you, man. I do take the time and the effort to greet and welcome every, each and every one of you. I'm not sure, I don't know that many streamers that take the time to do that. It means annoying some people waiting to see games be played, but I don't care. Community, friendship and all that, and just being polite is more important to me. Um, oh, we've missed you too, Steve. Uh, Ratty in the chatty. Yes, like it. Uh, thank you for the bananas there. I'm just checking I've not missed anyone or any important messages. And uh, we will get to the game. I think we're ready. Um, oh, thank you, Matt. That's very kind of you to say so. Um, if I lose a few viewers, then so be it, you know. Um... <laughs> It's more important. Uh, the community is far more important. It's not about me. It's not just about the game. It's about everyone interacting with each other, having a nice, nice time, and being made to feel welcome here. There's nothing worse, to be honest, guys. When I jump in a stream, I say hello to the streamer or whatever, and I'm, or at least I make multiple attempts just in case they missed it, and they not even acknowledge you. It sometimes happens here because. There's a lot of people here, the chat's scrolling very, very fast sometimes, and I'm in the middle of a game or something. But um, I know how it feels, and you want to make the, everyone feel welcome, and all and everyone is welcome to the Amstream, of course. Mm. Right, so it's time to get the game up, ladies and gentlemen, what we've all been waiting for. I shall get the emulator up, hopefully it won't crash on me. Right. 
Retro cutie. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right. Uh, let me just find the disc. And we should be good. Oh, what a loading screen. What the hell is that? That's a dog hugging a pair of buttocks. <laughs> what? Well, the Mojon twins have a very um, interesting sense of humour. No, and there we go. <laughs> a dodgy start and a doggy start. Oh, that's the bad joke. That's not even a joke. That's a nice loading screen there. Very, very nice. Right. Dog Bomb Productions present. Ooh, nice music. Audrey sorted the name out. Good man, good man. I got your back, Drew. I got your back. <laughs> It could be Ratty, it could be their dog. Right, I'm just gonna turn the volume down slightly. Can you hear, can you still hear this? Like, at a good volume, but hear me talking over the top of it? Jamming the music, keep uh, keep that, forget the game. <laughs> I think there's music in the game or, uh, as well. I had, a, yes, I think there is. I had a quick go earlier, just to get to grips with it, just to make sure it works and all that. It's nice music in the game. I like to listen to this because this is um, a whole different theme. One second, guys. I just need to open the door here because it's getting really warm in here. I'm going to get some airflow in here. Be right back. Ten seconds. Good. Did I drop the CPC a touch? Says Yellow Belly. Thank you, man. Just done it down a tiny bit more. Hopefully that's good, guys. Hope that's good. Matt Lee! Exclamation mark Bridget in the chat for my response there. Sounds fine to me too, says Steve. I was coming across really clearly. Goodbye. Excellent, excellent. It's really hard to uh, know. When, when it's sounding good or not from my end. I don't have any monitoring. Right. Okay. Hey, CPC Game Reviews. Awesome. I finally decided to stop lurking and get a YouTube channel. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome, my friend. I'm going to immediately subscribe to you if I can. the option to go to channel when you click on their name isn't working for me for some reason. I will subscribe later. I promise. I promise. Uh, what was I going to say? I think I missed, if there was anyone I missed in the chat earlier, please say hello again and let me know. Uh, if I missed you, I do apologise. I think I got everyone. But I'm sure I remember now. Oh, Missile! I knew I saw your name earlier. See, 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 see game reviews just reminded me. Missile982001. How are you doing, my friends? Welcome, Missile. How could I miss and forget you? Welcome, my friends. <laughs> There's a C. Oh, God. I need to do some more. I can't keep up with all the commands. C64. What could we add as a... What could we put for C64? <laughs> I 
Oh, I'll add a com I'll add a Commodore 64 command another time. Let's get on with the game. Yeah, how do I how am I gonna get um his channel link? Because we ought to we ought to post it. And if any of the Mojon twins are here tonight, please say hello in the chat and we'll give you some love. Damn. He's not finding it um, by YouTube searching. Oh well, we'll find we'll sort something out later. Right, we better get on with the game. <laughs> I know you're not Missile, but it, I know Missile's written some reviews for the website, so that's what reminded me. <laughs> but, oh, CBC Game Reviews, uh, does that mean, are you Nish Campbell? Hey, Simi Baseline, good evening, mate, as well. Welcome, man. And Mame Hayes, hello, sir. Welcome as well, dude. And a Rakul is here. Good evening, good evening. Right, let's get on with the game. Left, right, jump. Yes, and Nish Campbell, you are an absolute legend of the scene. Nish has made games. He's worked to the uh, CPC Game Reviews website. Um, he's an all-round awesome and very, very helpful dude as well. He's helped me out in the past with uh, fixing bugged games. Nish fixed the broken Uridium conversion on the Amstrad. So, uh, that's excellent. Brilliant. Love, what an awesome community you have here. Magic Knight, good evening as well, sir. Welcome. And Retro One Lim as well. All right, we'll see you back here in 20 minutes. Right, let's get on with the game. And let's see if we can beat this. So as you can see, single screen platformer game. We've got to collect the red flowers. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Love the use of colours. Oh, oh! Gork! <laughs> With the two pound donation. So why did you actually look inside the banana peel on it? Oh no, we've got a banana related message here. Minutes every night. If you gargle with salt water, this will heighten the effect. Expect results in about two weeks. <laughs> Gorker with the two pounds there. Uh, to, it says to white a team natty rub inside of a banana peel on your tea for about two minutes every night. If you gargle salt with this heightened effect, expect results in about two weeks. Bananas in the chat <laughs> for uh, for Gorker there. Thank you, Gorker, mate. I'm gonna have to give you some bananas too. Enjoy your dancing sugar there. And let's see some bananas in the chat, lads. Get your bananas out for Gorka. Thank you for the two pounds there, mate. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, my dude. And thank you for the banana advice, as always. Right, I'm going to pause the music and get on with this. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Woo! So pretty simple controls on this. Left, right, and a jump. So uh, fire for jump for me. All it looks like all the enemies you can destroy by bouncing off the heads of them. So this feels very, very much like Chi Man. If you everyone remember remembers me playing that and doing a video on it. Nice creepy music. Thank you for your everyone getting their bananas out for a <laughs> gorker there. Yes, Steve. Uh, he says, truly wonderful website, the CPC Game Reviews. My go-to website before going on eBay. I go to see CPC Power Second. Awesome. Now, when I've done this level here before, this section here. This is where I got up to my playthrough. This room is evil. And I'll show you why in a second. Get rid of all the bats there. So we can collect keys, which we just used to open a door there. But we've also got to collect 24 of these flowers or red roses. There you go. We've got 22 more of them to find. Oh, 
actually kill the bat. No! Oh, I'm an idiot. That cheeky drumstick, though, will give me a life back. Hurrah! These, ju these jumps are a lot harder than they appear. But I did it. Okay, good stuff. I, I was a bit stressed about that room. Earlier this morning when I was checking the game out, I got to that room and I kept dying over and over, falling in the bloody water. So I'm happy I've done that one there. Don't ask us to peel our nanas there. I won't, Brian. I won't. Get your bananas out. That's a bit personal, isn't it? Oh, no. We're all friends here on the Amstream. Don't be so shy. Get, <laughs> get him out. It does actually. It feels very Adam's Family, Matt Lee. One day I'm going to beat that bloody game. That is one of the hardest platform games I bloody own. Here you are. I'm very, very lucky to be the proud owner of Adam's Family on the Amstrad on disc as well. And this is a bloody, bloody hard game. Yes, Steve, I hope so too. They, they might make it available. Oh, but I'm told, well, I, try, I found a Spanish website and a Google translated it. And it said that this, if I read it correctly, the translation's right. That this was included as a bonus game on the Sir Ababold 2 cassette. But I have no idea where you get that from. Hopefully one of the Mojon twins will be in the chat tonight. I'm hoping. Because they, they've seen me advertising this. They retweeted me like right away this morning. Do you never know. They could be lurking. If you are lurking, Mojon twins, come out, come out of lurk mode. <laughs> this is tough because here you're gonna hit your head on the ceiling. So, oh, you. Now be warned that enemies respawn when you go on the, go back on a screen. Watch out for that. Oh, that was close. But I like how all enemies are killable by jumping on them. I hate platform games where you've got unkillable enemies. It just sucks the fun out of it where if everything can kill you and you can't attack back, it sucks the fun out of it for me. And a lot of these single platform games on the Amster tend to do that a lot. There we go. 19 left. Eighteen flowers to go. Oh no! Bugger. Hello, the gaming hamster. Are you lurking? Are you one of the Mojon twins or are you just a dirty lurker? Welcome though, my friend. Welcome. Hudson Hawk was a better game than the movie. Do you know what? I kind of like the movie. I know it's awful. I think Richard E. Grant in it is bloody fantastic as he always is. And Sandra Bernard's. I love their performances. And it was the last time Bruce Willis has been that excited in a movie. Ever since then he's been pretty much comatose every bloody role he's had in a movie. I don't know, Texting 88. I did have Donkey Kong uh, on the Nintendo Game Boy. That was an impressive technical feat. And I think I've only... Oh, God, hang on. I think I've only briefly played the SNES version. Be very careful here. There we go. You're a good man, Steve. Yeah, you'd rather buy it officially and at least my money would go to them rather than copying down it to a set and earn now. You're a good man, Steve. Steve likes to buy all the new Amstrad releases on physical media as, as much as possible. And that's great because you've got to support these uh, people and the scene. 
spending all their time and, you know, effort into making these games for us. Same, I'll try and buy as many as I can when I've got the means to do so. But I'm gutted I missed out on Galactic Tomb. Hello, Wayne! Wayne, how you doing, mate? <laughs> How's tricks, man? Good evening, sir. We are playing a brand new Amstrad game tonight called Sir Ababol. And then we're moving on to requests. Oh, God. Woo! How you doing, Wayne? <laughs> Good to have you here again, mate. I don't hate it, but there's a weird pacing to it. Is that Hudson Hawk the movie? Oh, it was a mess of a movie. It was like, I, I think it went, I think it's legendary for the number of rewrites and fiddling in the middle of filming by Bruce Willis and, and all this kind of stuff. It wasn't, I don't think it was a happy production. Oh, nearly got wrecked there. There's a nice pace to this game. It's relaxing because you're not against a time limit or anything like that. And you can take your time and work out how you're going to attack a level. Like, a little bit of slowdown here, but... Quite nice jump controls. They are, are a bit, t takes a bit of getting used to. Because there's a bit of acceleration on your jump. Um, what would you call it? Inertia? Or something that you got to get used to. Nice sound effects. Let's go with the nice music. Oh gosh. No! I, I, I went through the platform. Oh, it's bonus life here. <gasps> the thing is, like, when you jump, if you push the direction for too long, you can end up going a lot further than you expect to. If you just want to sort of jump about here and you push for too long, and you suddenly can just go flying over there. It's, it's good control. It just takes some getting used to. Oh, we are halfway through the game, guys. Does this platform push me off the lift? Oh, no, we go through it. Okay, that's good. Right, we want to do is kill this bat. Oh... Killed there. Is there anything up there? Is that a, is that a... No, you are a freaking idiot. Ah! <sighs> One hit kills, yes. As you just saw. But no energy bar. I've got two lives left. My palms are getting sweaty now. <laughs> I'm getting nervous, so relax, relax. We can do this. Much more relaxing death than death smiles. Absolutely, Johnny boy. I think 
will jump over this bat. Woo! Oh, I got scared. Oh, uh, oh, we need to get there un from under it, don't we? Yeah. So we've got a key, we'll go through here. There's a flower. Get the other key. Not really too much of a maze, but there we go. S sweaty paws and sod off, it is like. S sweaty palms. This would be a good game for Halloween stream, yes. We should have to play this and the other Sir Abba Bowl games. Oh, this is a difficult room. No! Ah! No! I've got no lives left. Oh no, I only had eight, key, eight, eight items left to find as well. Oh, rip. We got really far. Yeah, we need the Zyphel emotes, don't we? Unfortunately, we're not on Twitch. RAFC Denhog. It's called me an old nutter. I <laughs> love it. How you doing, mate? <laughs> How's tricks, dude? Sorry I failed there, but that was my first run. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Hold on a sec. So guys, I always forget to do this, but like if you're enjoying the stream and you like being part of the AMS community, please give us a like and a thumbs up on the video. I'd very, very much appreciate it. <laughs> what? It helps me get noticed by all the YouTube algorithms. More people get to come to see the stream and all that kind of stuff and the video afterwards. Just took a snapshot. Hey, Alex, how you doing, mate? I'm going to try and do it without snapshots. We'll see how we do. Wrecked. I got wrecked. OMG, it's OSG, old soul gaming. How you doing, mate? I just joined to ARG. I know. It's like me with Death Smiles again. Got, we did really well there on our first run. We, we, we shall give it another go, though. Oh, just seen something coming in the chat there. And yeah, it's a game under there. Come on, alerts. Come on, alert. God, YouTube is so slow. I've, got, I've just received something from down under. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Zimwazi with the Australian $2. Some shiny shells for the cause. Thank you, Zimwazi. Come on, lads. Get your bananas out in the chat for Zimwazi. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much for the shiny shells. Let's see the bananas for Zimwazi. Thank you, mate. <laughs> or Rustlers. Thank you, Yellow Belly. <laughs> Ruprim. Good evening, Ruprim, as well. Hello, sir. And Mark Blaster. Hey, man. How you doing? Nice to have you here. It's good It's good to be not doing a high school challenge tonight. <laughs> Welcome, Mark. How you doing, man? All right. Let's give this a go. We can do this. Straight down it here. Oh gosh, nearly, 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 nearly. I think I'm not going to risk that. There's 
no real incentive to destroy every enemy on the screen because they're going to respawn next time you come back to the screen if you have to. And there's no point scoring in the game either, so uh, we're not racking up a high score or anything here. Oh! Holy sh- Oh god, I need four! Wayne! Holy crap! Wayne Jordan! Oh, Wayne, you really didn't have to, mate. Oh my god. Wayne Jordan with the 20 pat on even. Um, activated the Alan Sugars. We're going to give him all the dancing, non-socially distancing <laughs> Sugars. Holy crap, Wayne. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Let's see the bananas. Get your bananas out for Wayne, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure the, the chat is going nuts at the moment. Wow. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Lots of love, dude. And you're gonna get some Starquake on for you later. Remind me in a bit, Wayne. Remind me. I'll try and write it down here. Holy crap. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Oh, I just saw Smooth MJ moonwalking into the stream as well. Hello, Malk. How you doing, buddy? Wayne, thank you again, man. Thank you so much. You really didn't need to, but thank you. Oh crap, I just lost a life. I'll start again. I just killed myself here. Right. Wayne, you are an apps. Oh no, I just I got lost concentration. Let me just kill myself. How you doing, Malk as well? Right, what I'll do, I'll just take a snapshot just at the start of the game, just so we can save some time. Uh, so, oh, oh, there we go. Right. There we go. Oh! Wayne, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, Gorka, as well. Oh, no! Frick, I'm, not, I'm losing my concentration here. Right, we'll start again. Oh, thank you, Brian. That's really kind of you to say so, man. I'm not starting the game with, like, losing a life so early on. Come on. The thing is, I'm trying to rush it now. And there's no need to. Just take it easy. How are you doing, Mark? Anyway, Mark Blast of the Game has a great little YouTube channel. Um, everyone should go and give him a sub right now. Um, he's part of that Tuber's uh, High Score Challenge that I've been, uh, that I'm a part of. You see me on Twitch doing like RoboCop, Charlene's Road, and Death Smiles. Mark takes part in that too. That's how we uh, came across each other, I guess. And he's a really cool uh, retro um, YouTube channel. Well worth a subscription, I'm sure. You're right, Steve. Patience. Patience. There we go. Get rid of all the bats. One thing I didn't point out, guys, is the longer you hold down the fire button, the higher you jump. So a little press does that. Really, really short press. A little bit longer. Somewhere in the middle. So I really like that control scheme. Longer press. Quick press. Even lighter press. I love how it's able to measure that accurately. That's mad. I like that. Oh! I nearly screwed it there. Oh, God. I'm getting nervous.
Lost a life. I'll carry on. I don't want to be here all night. <laughs> right. Sorry for the loud arg there, guys. Sorry for any headphone users as well watching tonight. Yes, Alex. Uh, Matt pointed that out as well. Very reminiscent of Adam's family. control scheme as well and feel it doesn't have like the run mechanic that Adam's family has if you j jump and keep the fire button held down in the Adam's family oops you then can do like a run if you keep the fire button held down but in Sir Ababol it already moves fast enough as it is Don't need to kill the bat. There we go. Patience, patience. Um, what's the link there? Sorry. Uh, YouTube link. Uh, oh yes. Ghost channel not working. Yeah, it's not working anymore. Don't know why that isn't working. But yeah. But um, yeah, if you put it in my Discord, I can I can then grab it and post it on the stream and make a fuss. So, uh, um, Nish, I think that's who Yellow Belly's referring to. Please, um, you know, jump in my Discord, put the link there, and. Um, I'll make sure I can spam it out on the channel here. <laughs> Simi pushing the likes there. Thank you, man. Actually, I'm going to wait for this bat. Don't rush it. Yeah, guys, if you want, if you wouldn't mind taking a second, just give us a thumbs up and like on the video. I very, very, very much appreciate it. Anna Apocalypse Zero. Anna, how are you doing? And a bloody ocular migraine. Oh no, we must look in. Hope you're all good though. Anna, I'm really sorry to hear that. That sucks. You have my deepest sympathy, sympathies, as you know. Um, I need to. I'll, I'm going to um, ping you a message soon, and we'll go through some stuff that maybe will try and help you with your ocular migraines. First thing you should do if you haven't already is go to an optician. Have you been to an optician yet, Anna? And then you go to your doctors. Thank you, FC Den Hog. <laughs> oh God, we on about bloody head trimmers. Mrs. Zai's been nagging me to get some for bloody weeks. We haven't even got a hedge. <laughs> she wants hedge trimmers. We've got one odd sort of tree in the garden that needs hacking back every now and again. Once in a blue moon and she's been going on at me to get some bloody hedge trimmers. My, we don't even have a hedge! <laughs> That's women for you. <laughs> uh, Anna's having an ocular migraine, Gorka, and they are awful, awful things. And I, uh, I'm always have anxiety before a stream going, please don't get an ocular migraine tonight. Please don't have an ocular migraine tonight. Because really, it's got a big rip and game over, end of stream probably. 
bloody horrible things. That's why I wear glasses now, guys. Uh, my eyesight, in terms of focusing and all that, is really, really good. I'm not sure sighted or long sighted or have any problems. These are mostly for anti glare uh, from monitors to stop the ocular migraines. There's also a sort of a, uh, a prism in there. Oh, God! No! There's also, I was going to say, a prism in my lenses that. Help with one eye's my one of my eyes muscles was overcorrecting it and working overtime to maintain focus, which could be a cause of migraines. That's why I wear glasses. I didn't always used to, if you remember, if you tuned in in the early days of streaming. Hello, Jace. Good evening, mate. <laughs> he was requesting um, Bloody Airwolf before the start of the stream. <laughs> but don't judge him too harshly! No, 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 no! Oh, no! Bloody hell! Oh, no. I've got to start over again, am I? I'm sorry, guys. I... Screwed up there. I need I need to relax and concentrate more. Right. This time, we'll do it this time. Uh Jace type exclamation mark uh airwolf. Ex ex exclamation mark airwolf in the chat and see. <laughs> yeah, I bottled it. Totally bottled it. Just absolutely panic there. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You like my sexy specs, right? I nearly screwed that up there. Really shouldn't have lost a life there. Come on, we could do this. Ooh! That was close. Uh, what did Ratty say? I bowl by when I'm on a long car journey. <laughs> right, come on, we can do this. Just I just need to relax. I play so much better when relaxed. I'm going to allow myself to lose one life here. If it happens. That's quite a tough room. Not this one, but the previous one. Right, there we go. Right, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Wasn't risking that. Get rid of the bat. Now we're on the lift. Good. <laughs> Spexy. Yes. Concentrate, Zypho. Right. Right, good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we're good. Hey, welcome back, Retro on Lim. How you doing, buddy? Stupid. 
stupid. Stupid loss of life there. Honestly, was not needed. Damn. I feel myself getting annoyed at myself as well. So I need to stop that. Safe and well, Mayor Retro on Lim. Retro on Lim, of course, is one of those people doing a very, very tough job in the health services at the moment. And we all, we all have mad respect for anyone doing that at the moment, as I'm, I'm sure I can speak for everyone there. Damn. Oops. Hello, Sean. Sean P. How you doing, mate? You're getting a bit of an Alex Kid vibe. Ooh. This is Zypho's favourite game. <laughs> oh, stop it, Steve. You're making me blush. That's totally not true. <laughs> right. Take your time here. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Be patient. Don't try and rush it, Zy. Come on. Come on, man. There we go. This section. Woo! Poggers! There we go. <laughs> yes, Brian. Mrs. I is very popular here. That's really nice to see. Everyone's been very, very nice and welcoming to her. And I'm sure, if would people like to see another Mr. vs. Mrs. Zypho stream? Again in the future? No! Bugger! Lost a life there. Again, lapse of concentration. Sod off, Retro and Limp. <laughs> How far does this back come? Got him! Right. Alright, we're doing well now. 14 items out of, was it, 24? So we're near the halfway mark. This section's a bit tough. They're a bit close there. Ow, oh, come on. Woo! 
All right, we've just done over half the items now, and a very, a very tough section there. Tough little bit there below. Yes! Okay, we're good. I'm happy. Four lives. Oh, nine items to go. I'm good. As long as you don't have a massive screw up, we should be good. Hey, Nova Borg! How you doing, matey? Chris? Is this the third ABBA Bowl game then? Yes, it is. Sort of. Yeah. We're not quite sure. It was released back in March 15th, I think it was. Day of my birthday. Um, and... But this was actually finished in 2018. I have no idea why they're releasing it so late to the public. But apparently this game did make an appearance at the uh, Amsterdam Turno... Um, competition and event in 2018 and won best platformer but I don't know why we're only, we're only seeing this now but there you go should have just done that in the first place oh and Nova Bug get your Nova plug out of the way let us oh no let us know when you're stre ne uh, streaming, if you're streaming tomorrow, mate. <laughs> oh, he already has said. <laughs> okay. There you go. 10 o'clock tomorrow, he's back with us. No, 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 no. I've got no lives left. Wow, that was a massive, ma a massive screw up. I've lost another life. I just gained a life and then lost it. Oh no. Seven items to go. I can't make a mistake. I don't want to snapshot it. I want to beat this legit tonight. chat there and he says uh thanks for keeping the amsterdam cpc spirit alive oh thank you man that's, that's the sole reason i started my youtube channel um 11 12 years ago keep to keep the amstrad alive <laughs> thank you man let's see some bananas in the chat for sir sergio there i already see them coming in thank you sergio thank you very very much mate thank you i, th I think i could do with a little break there and take a drink actually so thank you sergio as well for that Mm. Bit, uh, Velo says Bitmap Soft has just uh, announced a new Atari ST game. Wow. <laughs> awesome stuff. Sergio, thank you again, mate. Thank you, man. 
Very, very much appreciated, dude. And we've got to keep that Amstrad CPC alive. Yeah, I'm glad I dropped that. I've got to drop into the uh, crevice of that. Looks like a letter W to avoid that bat. So I've got to be quick there. Right, relax. I'm not going to choke this. Oh, bugger. No lives left. I don't see myself doing it. Hey, Beardo. How you doing, mate? And hello to Mrs. Beardo. She's watching with you. I'm not risking that. Oh, I could have. Yeah. I would have been all right. Alstrix, Beardo. And Nova Bug House things with you and the family as well, mate. It says Pod and you. Was it P and D, maybe? No! Oh, God! After working so hard to get there, I bloody make a stupid mistake. Oh! Come on, we can do this. All I've got to do is wait there. Wait there. There you go. Bloody <laughs> hell. Sergio, thank you for subscribing as well. Welcome. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, mate. Thank you. At least I, I haven't died. At least I didn't die. Oh, God. I nearly ran into the bat. At least I didn't die there. That's good. Has someone done that, Steve? Oh, oh well. Oh well. I keep screwing this up. That's the problem. Maybe they're, maybe they're fed up of me being bad at Sir Ababol. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for having me back there, though. <laughs> no! You have to jump there. Oh, no, you don't have to jump. There's a ledge straight after. Okay, we can do it. Right. Actually, don't risk that bat. We can do it. Oh! I fell through the lift there. Hmm, we'll watch out for that. That could be a bug. I'll wait for that bat. Uh, uh, what was that? Sorry. No book says we're all good. Still working around. Kids hanging around at home. Same. <laughs> as long as you're all safe and well and coping. Give me a bonus life somewhere. Right, I've only got only got six items left. Man, I wish I had a bonus life somewhere. It'd make me far more relaxed. <laughs> there we go. I'm 
try not to do snapshots retro on Lim. We'll do it. We'll do it. Your boss is doing a quiz at work, Vado. What, tonight? And it's be unwise to miss it. Yeah, you gotta keep the boss happy, haven't you? <laughs> oh, these bloody bats are back. Just take them out. That's all we're going to do is take them out. Yeah! Three items to go. looks a bit messy this one I think we're really close to the end of the game come on don't screw this up just relax what we're gonna do is jump Sugar. Damn. All right. Let me just get a fresh drink from the fridge, guys. I'll be like 30, uh, 20 seconds. I'll be right back, and then we're gonna beat. We're gonna beat this bloody game. I tell you now, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> no GG though. It's off to load the long play in. <laughs> oh. Poor Mrs. I, I know, Pete, I know. Snapshots are not something you could have done at the time. For me, that adds to the authentic retro experience. And as a cassette physical media CD fan, that has enormous appeal to me. Not technically true, Steve. Let me show you something. What's this? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Multi-phase two. Press that red stop button. Say, save the a dump of the, where, exactly where you are to disc. <laughs> but yeah, I, don't, I, I agree with you though, Steve. There is something about completing a game on real hardware as it was intended without interference. And there, there is some achievement and feeling and, uh, you know, special feeling that goes along with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I get what you say. I, I, I'm 100% with you. Oh, Brian, my friend's going to crack it, so I'll say goodnight now. Hope you enjoy the rest of the life. It's real soon. Goodnight, oh, Brian, take care, man. Um, Brian recently discovered us um, and our community, and he's become a real regular now. And it's lovely to see him. He's a lovely bloke. So, uh, lots of luck to Brian as he heads off to bed. <laughs> Good night, Brian. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm do I'm gonna I'm Steve, this one's for you, mate. This one's for you.
taking my time here. There we go. Damn. Killed the bats, but then... Start. Well, guys, at least I know I could get right to the end of the game. What happened there, though, was I, like the, the run previous to that, I screwed up and kind of panicked. Damn. Nah, I'm starting that again. It's not worth it losing like lives really early on. No, wait, 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 wait. So Steve, this one's for you, Steve. <laughs> No idea what it is. The multi, you know, uh, what the multi face too. Oh, really, Steve? Right. Probably, probably only worth getting it if you've got a disc machine. Actually, really. Actually, no. Even on the four six four. So there you go. That goes in your expansion port at the back for the multi face. And there's a reset button which re resets your Amstrad. But at any point, press the stop button. And what you can do, basically, the two main things that any people only ever really use it for is, one, you can save out exactly everything in the memory out to a table disk. So it's like a snapshot, basically. Or you could put pokes in. So all those pokes you got in the back of Amstraction magazine, type in those codes and get at infinite cheat, at infinite lives and all that kind of stuff. So for pokes as well, there you go. What was it? What was what? Oh, multi-face three. Did that do even more stuff? I don't think there was a multi-face three for the Amstrad. <laughs> the original I win button. I tell you what, I used to do a lot because I got my six one two eight a long time after my four six four. So I had a load of tape games. So you know all those uh, ocean games where it, if it detected that you had 128k of memory, it would like load all the levels in at once, like uh, Robocop, Chase HQ, Dragon Ninja, Batman the Movie. Well, what I'd do is I'd load up... What?! Freaking kidding me. That was a legit jump on his head. Anyway, so what I'd do is I'd load up like Chase HQ on the 6128 via cassette. Once it loaded in, I'd immediately hit the uh, multi face button and then save it out um, to disk. And then basically, I'd have the disk version of Chase HQ with all the levels lo loaded in, ready to start. And I've got loads of uh, blank discs on my shelf there, actually. Full of, like, games I basically copied, uh, loaded up from tape. As soon as it's loaded, I've hit the button, saved it out. And I could just load it from that disc, then. So that was another good use for me. Oh, dear, baby Zai has been... Naughty, has he? Thank you, Mrs. Ifo, for settling him. I hope he's all right. 
Uh, Zyphe, there was a warning coming out, says FC Den Hog, and it's in the news. There was a major security breach at YouTube. Really? I've not seen that. I shall have a read of that later. Oh, gosh. Before I... Thank you for the heads up, FC Den Hog. As long as it's a legit news source, you know. That's, oh, panic there. There we go, good stuff. Good old Romantic Robot. What a name for a company, I like that. Romantic Robot. And they're the ones that made the multi-faces, yes. Yeah, I think they I think they arrived before the game genie, right? Uh, Sebast hey Sebastian, how you doing mate? Welcome back to the stream. Thank you power my six on tell me and play with no worries. <laughs> Good to hear your 6128 is working well still. Um, mine is. I, I was playing on my 6128 Plus uh, last weekend. The disk drive had a little problem for about mm, a minute or two. I bet it started reading disks fine. I think it just hasn't been used in a while. progress. They're still around. Uh, they release music now. Who's that? What? Romantic Robot? Really? I'll have to have a Google of that um, after this game. Well, that surprised me. Yes! Woohoo! Actually, we've got to get out of this room first. Yeah, we're good. We should be good. Uh, I have an idea where I, where I pick a membrane for Amster 6 or 3. Let me know, thanks. Are oh, you trying to find a membrane, a keyboard membrane for a six one two eight? Is that where you're? Is that where you're looking for, Sebastian? If so, you're best off asking on one. If that, if that is the case, you're best off asking on a, a Facebook group for the Amstrad. Try the Amstrad CPC four six four Facebook group, or Amstradians, or even better, Amstrad Collective Facebook group. That used to be the Amstrad buy and sell Facebook group they got they renamed itself to Amstrad Collective and there's a lot of people on there selling parts and spares and stuff or indeed as Vano says CPC wiki forum yeah bugger I'm gutted I lost a life there. I don't remember any stories about anyone trying to sue Romantic Robot. Or about the multi-face too. I don't remember seeing any. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. If it did, I'm very interested to know. One day, I'd like to make a video about the Multiphase 2 and its story and Romantic Robot story. No! That'd be very, very useful research info. I got pa Oh, God. Panic there. Hey, 
again, Linford Pickle. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you back here again, mate. Yeah, this is a new game. This is Sir Ababol, the third Sir Ababol game. Called the NES OM version. Yes. I need to screw up there. Paul Owen! Paul, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you, mate. How's tricks, dude? Yes, we're over halfway there. Three lives left. This is good. <gasps> no! I must have hit the ceiling there. Oh, man. <gasps> no! God damn it! I lost three lives on that stupid section. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Really annoyed. <laughs> it's just a game, but oh my god, we were doing so well. Oh man, no lives left, and there's a horrible bit coming up. Let's just try and take each level, each room as it comes. This room is horrible. Absolutely disgustingly horrible. Oh. I've got to get these jumps just right. <sighs> Calm down and stop trying to rush. Well, it went wrong with that bat. Normally, it just lent out, out uh, a while back. It normally, just drop on its head and boom. I've done that about four, three or four times in a row. Fine. Oh. And then this time, doesn't work. <laughs> Just poke it for the old multi face, eh? <laughs> Alright. Come on then, let's do this bit. Yes! Right, I've got to land on this bat's head. Bonus life. Yes! That We died at that bit last time. Or lost a life. Having a spare life in my back pocket is relaxing me a bit. No, don't push that. Good, 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 good. Haha. <laughs> it's not too dangerous here. But we've got uh, some awkward jumps to do. Now drop down. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, FC Den Hog. I'll try. I'll try. Le 
stay. Relax over there. Okay. No! Come on! I ran and jump, jumped there. What? Doesn't matter. We've not lost a life, so it's not a deal breaker. Just annoying. Hey, Rob DeLorean, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> How's things, mate? So, uh, sorry, I might have missed a bit in the chat there. But did anyone say they found, like, some evidence of um, Romantic Robot being sued by anyone back in the day? Did that happen? We all, all know, we all know about uh, Nintendo and the Game Genie. Yes! There we go. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Just avoid that bat. There you go. Woo. Oh, okay, good. Good. Four items left. Four items left. items. <sighs> Deep breaths. We're at the end of the game. life problem is if we drop into the water we could end up dying over and over one life left Guys, if I do this, I expect the chat to absolutely go erupt and go freaking bananas. Berserk. One line. Yes! Get in! <laughs> Woo! I'm wielding my mighty sword. Congratulations, you've got the sword. See you in the ice palace. Yay! G, 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 G. I'm happy of that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Loving it. Loving the chat game bananas there. <laughs> <laughs> I will get a nice ending picture there.
Now beat Bridget. Type exclamation mark Bridget in the chat, Retro and Lim. And now the second half begins. Oh god, it's not going to do like a Ghost of Goblins where... Ha, it was a trick. And you have to do it all over again. Banana sword. I like it. <laughs> One item left. Taxi, I think you're lagging behind on the stream. No, Simmy, like this. <laughs> well, there you go. That was Sir uh, Ababol. Uh, NES hyphen OM edition. Oh, it's the same music. Oh! Mr. Matt Lee! <laughs> With the £4.13 there. It says Bridget timeout. Bridget no! Time out, Alex. No! But you can have some Alan Sugars. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Matt Lee. We're <laughs> also having fun of Nightbot there. Let's have some bananas in the chat for, for Dr. Matt Lee there. Oh, that was at five. Was that five dollars? It got converted right. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much, dude. Much appreciated. Enjoy your dancing sugars there. <laughs> I haven't done red heat yet. Bridget is not happening and you guys know it. And besides, I don't take donos for requests anyway and you guys know that as well. Let me just blow my nose off camera, one sec. about that okay guys right quick review of the game I'm gonna say really lovely colorful graphics excellently designed uh, everything is really clear there's no um, clash of colors making it there's no garishness they've got a really nice the chosen chose the right colors and it all works really really well sprites are nicely are nice and defined there's only a few enemies, which is a bit of a shame, but um, and the game is actually quite short, really. Uh, but it's a fun little single-screen platformer. It controls well. It's definitely completable, as you've seen, um, with a right good amount of challenge there. Music is excellent. Sound effects um, really, really good too. You get a mix of both. That's nice to see. Um, the only thing is, it's not very original. That's the only thing I'd mark it down on. We've seen. Far too many single screen platformers on the Amstrad. I'd like to see something a bit more new and in in innovative. However, it's still a, a brilliant product. For me, it doesn't beat Chi Man. Uh, another game from Mojon Twins, but close to. But I'll probably give this, as a review score, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I think that's fair. There you go. Sir Ababol, the third, the third game in the series. <laughs> Okay, guys. Right, let's um, let's come out of that. We can put our music on there. What? Actually, yeah, good good point. Actually, guys, what scores would you give it? Um, Yellow Belly's giving it an eight out of ten. Arnie as well. Hey, Arnie, how you doing, buddy? Eight out of ten as well. Sorry if I didn't say hello to you earlier. I'm gonna start taking requests in a minute, so hold off just a sec. Oh, Mark. Okay, take care, man. Good night. Thank you for tuning in, mate. Welcome to the Am stream again, mate. And uh, hopefully we'll see you here again, Mark. Uh, it's a shame. I can't. I, I need to give links to people's channels. I can't get them anymore from this new, this new chat. Let's give him a shout out. Let's see if I can find you on YouTube quickly by doing a YouTube search. Uh, and then I'm gonna spam you the link. There we go. Oh, 
So this is Mark Blaster's channel there. Well worth a subscription, uh, guys. Um, let's just have a look at the videos he's done quickly. Uh, lots of like arcade coin up playthroughs and stuff like that on a one credit challenge type thing. So uh, yeah, if you love your retro arcade games and stuff, Mark Blaster's channel, well worth a subscription. There you go. Um, so what's the other scores there? 7 out of 10 from Fugazi. Darren Connor gives it a 7.4. <laughs> Velo gives it 7.5. Maud 7. Oh, promo for quiz night. Um, do you want to pop the link in the chat, Yellow Belly? And I'll bring it up, mate. Yes. Hold off on the request just for now, guys. Um, 8 is fair, says FC Denhog. 7 out of 10 from Retro and Lim. Steve has given it uh, 8 out of 10. Lovely, but now new. I still pay good money to own a copy on cassette. Same. I think I'd buy this as well. I like, I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> you've been lurking, Mason Street. No worries, Arnie. Thank you for the bananas, though, when required. May Mace gives it uh, a 6 out of 10. It's too generic. Graphic sound can't really gloss over that. Very simplistic design. Even the map was very simple in reality. No exploration, etc. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't really disagree with that. Although I would perhaps give it a high score, as I, uh, as you know I did. But no, that's fine. 8 out of 10 from Gorka. Uh, Johnny B gives it 17 out of 20. Jimmy, 8 out of 10. Can we blast anyone else's channel I should be following? Um, potentially, just like we don't know. If uh, someone comes in the stream that's part of the community and I feel like they deserve a bit of a plug, you know, I'll do it. Support each other. Uh, yellow belly, thank you, man. What we're gonna do is, you know, something else to help out someone in the community as well. A very valued and beloved member of the community. Um, <laughs> let me get a display capture of this. Mr. Yellow belly will be streaming this with Mr. Mikey Smith. We all know Mikey Smith as well. Actually, let's pause my music here. Uh, display capture's a bit screwy, actually. Hang on, shall we minimum mode it? Ah, that's better. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't mean to play it there. Let me just... Is that all... Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll do. Hold on, guys. Let me do that. And we'll just go there. And we'll turn off the uh, Sir Abba Bowl cutout now. <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Yellowbelly and Mr. Mikey Smith of the Amstream community this Sunday evening are doing this. Play. Greetings, YouTube. Yellowbelly here with a bit of a promo video for this Sunday, May the 17th at 8 p.m. Uh, we're having a live pub quiz. Uh, and we want you to join in. What we need from you is just a bit of fun in the chat. Get yourself a pen and paper, a few beers, and uh, join in with the questions. We will give the answers out every five questions and uh, toss up your scores and let's see if we've got any brain boxes in the retro community. It'll be great to see you all there. It's going to be hosted by the one and only Mike Smith. Uh, we all, you know, all know that who that is, and it's mainly we're doing this for you guys. We love the retro community. We love all our friends on the Zypho, Novabug, my own, and Mikey Smith streams, and we want to have a bit of a laugh and have you guys involved in it. If you fancy being a, a contestant, and I'm not too scared of being on camera. Uh, preferably, uh, but if you don't have a camera, we can do a voice uh, via Zoom. Please contact us and we maybe get you in on the next one. But definitely join in. It's not family friendly, as usual, with all our streams. So <laughs> there will be swearing, etc. But most of all, we'll be having fun. So please tune in and uh, I'll see you there at the pub with the landlord, Mikey Smith. I will be the quiz master. Yellow belly out. There we go. Mr. Yellow Belly. Oof, look at that sexy picture there. Oh, and Mikey as well. <laughs> good on you, uh, good on you, uh, Yellow Belly. 
let's put a link to your channel so everyone can join in. I think it'd be great fun. The lots of members of the Amstream community will be there on Sunday, and it should be a good laugh. I'll be there for a bit. I think Mrs. Uh, Zypho is taking part in it as well. She's <laughs> so watch out for that. And let's help each other out and join in with each other's adventures and stuff. So there we go. There you go. My pleasure, Yellow Belly. My pleasure, mate. My pleasure. Right. Okay, guys. So, um... Let, I'm going to start taking requests for games. And what I'm going to do tonight is, as a bit of an experiment for future request nights, I'm not going to sit here, like, for ten minutes writing down every single person's request, I think. What I will do is I will just pick out a few that I see come in that are interesting. And we're looking for games that we haven't done to death on the stream. I'll try and favour people who are new to the stream that I haven't had a request before. One request per person. And maybe I'll pick out two or three and go, that's the next three games. And then don't be disappointed if yours doesn't get picked. Um... Because I'll just ask again. Let's let's hear the next few. Let's hear, let's have some requests again, and then we'll go from there. So we'll do it a little bit different tonight, and I'll see what people go. Oh yes, try that game, um, Zypho. If lots of people go, yes, we want that one, and then I'll do that. Uh, Trailblazer we played last week, Lord Reigns. Um, so you may request a different game. Starquake, Wayne. We uh, we I did it for you on a request night. But you may have gone to bed. I don't know. I could perhaps do some Starquake. Ooh, Lotus. Um, I'm kind of done with Into the... I'm going to be honest, Jason. I'm, I'm kind of done with Into the Eagle's Nest. We've had it requested multiple times. We've done it multiple multiple uh, uh, times on the AM stream. The game just goes on bloody forever and it's overly hard. Um, hmm... You can use that poll voting system. That's not a bad idea. Ooh. Walden. No. Nightmare we could have a look at. Turbo Outrun. Moon Buggy. Did that ever come on the Amstrad? Moon Buggy. I, I don't... Did it? Oh. Bloody hell, it did. Well, that's interesting. I might do Starquake, though, for Wayne again, though. Uh, Retro Man Cave! How you doing, mate? Good evening. Oh, my God. But one of the big boys of YouTube here tonight. <laughs> Retro Man Cave. Kabbala. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Oh, God. Really? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, Deliverance Storm or two, I'll just restore my cassette version. We did play that on a Twitch stream not too long ago, but it was bloody ages ago, so maybe. Perhaps I will make a note of some of these games, actually. It was bloody hard. Mask. I'm not doing strip poker. Uh, but Jason, you can ask for another game, mate. So you, you've not lost your request. Extreme. Robin, how you doing, buddy? We did do a bit of extreme um, a month or two back, unfortunately. It was definitely this year. Rescue and Fractalus, great. Uh, Top Cat Beverly Hills, oh yeah. Um, Rescue and Fractalus, couple of people. That could be fun. I wanted to come back to this one. I might have to look at the instructions for it, though. The wife's asking for Harry Attack. Did she grow up with the Amstrad and knows, and, and, and knows Harry Attack? We have done a lot of that. Zora, I don't think I've ever played that before. And Lotus there for Jimmy. Actually, I'm, and I'm, I'm breaking what I'm saying now because I'm actually sat here typing things, uh, typing things out. Uh, probably because I don't want to forget some good suggestions there. Ooh, North and South. We did do a big stream of that midpoint last year. Forgotten Worlds. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. 
I'm looking for like interesting sort of undiscovered gems. <laughs> right. Wonder Boy, we did a lot of last week, Beardo. <laughs> I played that for a long time. Super Wonder Boy Rob will be coming up in the Activision Part 2 stream. We'll do that in a few weeks. I reckon Rescue and Fractalus, definitely. Um, I'm going with Deliverance as well. Neil, Retro Man Cave. Uh, do you really want me to have a look at Kabbalah? <laughs> really? <laughs> I, don't know, I think I might have a look at Moon Buggy as well. And may, there may be some Starquake afterwards. Um, I'll consider Lotus. It's a it's a slow playing game. That's all. Um, and Steve, what was your request, mate? Sorry, there's a lot lot of chat going on there. Um, uh, Where was yours, Steve? Sorry. Time fine. Hello, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, says Satan. We could do a bit of that. We did that a few months ago. Smooth MJ wants Roland on the run. I think he's trolling. Uh, uh, I'll, uh, St Steve, post your request again, mate. I can't see it in the chat. My eyes are getting old and... Knackered. <laughs> Ooh, Weldon wants some WC Le Mans. I wouldn't mind that. Fire Trap will be coming up on the Activision Part 2 stream in a couple of weeks, Johnny Boy. When am I not trolling? I know, Malk. Ooh, Frontline. Yes, I want to check that out. I'm actually taking a whole list of games now. So my idea of just like picking one out from the chat and going with it is, is already failing. Bugger. Steve Foster, what was your game? What was your request, sir? Don't want to ignore you. Try to check something there. He chose... He chose Zor, did he? Right, well, I'm going to start. Um, uh, oh, was it Satan? A couple of people have asked for that. I'll add it. I'll put it. I'll write it down, and then we'll see if we can get to it. Right, but I'm going to start with Moon Boggy. That sounds interesting because wouldn't that be an arcade conversion? Moon Boggy. This came out from um, Annie Rog Software in 1985. Oh my god, that's not a good loading screen. And there's no music on the title screen. The title screen does not look great. I'm sure Moon Buggy's an arcade game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It's, it's an arcade conversion, but I don't know if it's an official one. Okay. Written by Michael Fox. Yes, uh, Neil. Not Michael J. Fox, sadly. I'm going to pause my music here just in case there's any music in game. And let's have a look. Try to start. Ha <laughs> ha. Are we going to fire straight up or across? Oh, you need to jump the jump the holes, right? Okay. It's probably a troll, isn't it? You're right, Wayne. In 1985, just at the re just at the release of uh, Back to the Future. Oh, did you meet? Um... Michael J. Fox, Rob. Awesome. What was he like? I've heard he's a really nice guy. Oh, I can't shoot. Why not? Uh, 
Yes. Uh, it does look like it's written in basic. There's not much action going on, really. Um, hmm. <laughs> is this all there is to it? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oof. Okay. No, you screwed up there. This reminds me of that James Bond game uh, from the Parker Brothers on the Atari 2600, if anyone's ever seen that. Which was probably a rip-off of Moon Buggy. Uh, you know what, it sort of... Sort of plays alright. I don't... I don't remember playing Moon Buggy in the arcade. So, I don't know how it compares, really. Put some music on in the background. Put the emulator speed up to 200% and will be more like the arcade version. <laughs> Shoot the moon lettuce! <laughs> There's the moon lettuce! <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Oh! Hmm. Couldn't really uh, do anything to avoid that there. Andy Boyer, hello mate. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the hoddle. <laughs> I think we, we do we have the hoddle. We do We do hang on. We have the hoddle here, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Andy? Oh that reminds me, someone did ask a uh, request match day two. I saw that request. What? Game over. Well, that was a bit poop, really. Uh, we'll give it one more go. Oh, God. House of Usher in the high score table there. That was an interestingly bad game. They even got Roland in space in the high score table. Jetlag Wally. <laughs> Jurgen Hingson's the Kaflin. What? Pajama Llama. MSX Go Home. Turn the Knob. Jack's Trams Ill. What? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Jack Tramiel. Jack Trams Ill. Not a great one there. What a strange high score table. So, yes, I, you just reminded me. With the appearance of the huddle there, but um, someone requested match day two, and I'd love, I would love to play some match day two. Come aboard, God. <laughs> Hello, Andrea Wyatt. How are you doing, Andrea? Bloody hell. Uh, you're right, Mame Hayes. Like, the only good type of game like this uh, on the CPU was the army moves and navy moves. But they were mentally hard as well. One day I'm going to request Gridiron. Go for it. Is it actually any good, Wayne? Or you just wanted to see what it looked like? I don't think I've ever played an American football game on the stream before. Actually, no, tell a lie, I have. Cyberball. When we did the Dom Arc stream. What? I, I must have jumped too early. Bloody hell. Andrea, how's things with you and your family? Musa! Musa, good evening, dude. Lovely to see you again, mate. It is. It's insanely hard navy moves. I'd love to do a video of it myself. I, I dread coming to that. <laughs> I need to do that one, I mean. What? I, 
I literally didn't press up there. And the, and the buggy jumps. <sighs> Don't know. Don't know what happened there. Uh, Mr. Retro Man Cave, please let uh, the Amstream community know what you're up to with your streams coming up. I know you've been doing quite a few recently on YouTube. So please feel free to let the uh, Amstream chat know here when the next one is, what it's going to be and stuff. Hey, Lonely House, how you doing? Welcome back. <laughs> and how have you been? Musa, what have you been up to? <laughs> Arnie. God. Ever since I've seen Hayes' streams of that bloody Commodore advert. There's nothing, nothing you could do to avoid that. Mm. Red Farkle and Dustbusters. Yeah, com there's Commodore. I did miss that earlier. Oh, Retro Man Caves. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'm doing daily streams during lockdown. We're just sharing tours of each other's game rooms and games. Like a, a nerdy, you've been framed, but with no falling over. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm sure I don't have to tell the chat. I'll give this one more go. I'm sure I don't have to tell the chat that you should all be subscribed to Retro Man Cave. Not that he needs any more bloody subscribers. He sat on like, what are you on now? One hundred million sub subs. Hang on, hang on. Lewis, <laughs> Lewis Waddington, Olden Codger with the one ninety nine through the super chat. There's Moon Patrol, Iron Classic, Evening CPC lovers. Lewis, thank you very much. Uh, guys, can we give Lewis some bananas in the chat there? <laughs> and let's see, let's come on, lads. Let's see your bananas. There we go. Thank you, Lewis. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. <laughs> How you doing, mate? Thank you again, mate. Thank you very, very much. Lots of love there to Lewis. He's an absolute legend. Yeah, what time do you normally... What time is it normally, Retro Man KB stream? Oh, it's your second channel, isn't it? 7pm. I, I must subscribe to that second channel. Because I'm not. <laughs> Oops. I think you should just do it from your main channel, man. But I understand why you might not want to... Do that, yeah. God damn it. I wanted to get I just want to get to the second level. That's all I wanted to do here. Steve Barker. Hello, mate. How have you been, sir? Welcome back, man. Welcome. What's the name of your second channel, Retro Man Cave? I'll, I'll go and sub after this game. What's it called? Retro Man Cave 2, Cave Harder. <laughs> Extra Caverns. <laughs> and what have you been up to, Lewis? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Thank you again, mate. What a way to make an entrance. <laughs> Retro Man Cave, Extra Caverns. <laughs> Like it. Cave Harder is probably a porn film title, says Nova Book. <laughs> and not Fritzel's Basement, Andy, no. <laughs> Come on, can we get to level two? I just want to see what level two looks like. That's all I want to do. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Retro Man Cave! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> With the 199 through the super chat there. Enjoy your uh, dancing sugar there. Guys, ladies, guys and, and gals, please get your bananas out for Retro Man Cave. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Get your bananas out. Thank you, Retro Man Cave. <laughs> and that's a good point for me uh, for me to find Retro Man Cave. Uh, what was it called? Retro Man Cave X Extra or something. Extra Caverns. Retro Man Cave Extra Caverns. I have now subscribed. Bloody hell. <laughs> I shall put a link in the chat there now. Oh, Yellow Belly's done it, I think. There you, there you go. Make sure that everyone is subscribed to Retro Man Cave on his extra channel for his daily, daily live streams. There you go. <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Yellow Belly, again. <laughs> Whoa, bananas. There we go. What was chat saying there? Retro Man Cave, the deeper dungeons. That would have been a good name. Steve Foster's a genius. <laughs> Thank you again, uh, RMC. M Mr. Neil. Seeing as I've plugged Neil, it's only fair that I plug my own stuff as well. That you can also find... Oh, there we go. You can also find me on Twitch, guys. Uh, most evenings in the week. Um, I'm doing usually Monday to Thursday, actually, at the moment. Oh, God. Hang on. Why is that doing that? Uh, I've been doing most evenings from about 8, 8.30ish on Twitch. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, there you go. Uh, I'm doing a variety of retro systems, not just Amstrad. And so give us a give us a look in there. I, 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 I keep kicking myself after every am stream. I've not been plugging my Twitch. And we need to build things up on there because eventually at some point the am stream here on YouTube will have to move over to Twitch because it's not great for streaming. There you go. You have completed zone one, an average speed of 84% of the maximum. I was literally, I thought I was going maximum speed. Try to go faster next time. Oh, I must have pushed back at some point. Slow down. Right. Let's see what level 2 looks like. And then we're moving on to a next game. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Oh, it's a hedgehog. <laughs> the head the space hedgehog kills moon buggy. God. But we can't shoot the space hedgehogs. I think it's a space hedgehog. It looks like a space hedgehog to me. Come on. I, I was holding up there to jump and... Mm, maybe I jumped too late on the first jump. Okay, game over? Not yet. Uh, didn't even do a spin dash on you either. Ah, oh, yes, I like Sonic. <laughs> Space Hog. Well, there we go. That's Moon Buggy for you. It's sort of alright. Um, I don't even really remember the arcade original much, so I can't really... Uh, I can't really compare. Hmm. But it's all right. For 1985, that is. Um, so, yeah, we've done some moon buggy. Uh, Deliverance, Rescue, and Fractalus. Actually, someone requested Zor. I've never played Zor before, I don't think. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to check it out. Oh, there's, there's a Vectrex game, Vector Patrol. Really? 
Oh, hang on. I don't know if it's on my multi cart or not. I'll have a look. Oh, I, actually, I'll wait. I'll have a look later. I've got that multi cart, um, Lewis. If it's on that, I will be playing it. Yeah, let's move on. Zor must be revealed. His many faces are scattered through 15 levels. Acquiring all the faces on any l level will enhance your knowledge of Zor. Beware, Zor controls his world and doesn't give up his personality easily. Hmm. Ace of Aces, I think. Oh, is this a record? Oh my god, I remember that game. I used to love that. Uh, but no requests at the moment. Um, we'll get we'll get more requests in in, in a little bit. I've no I've never played this before, so I've no idea what to do. I'll oh, return to start. What's this? Is this choose your level or something? Whoa! So what do we do, guys? Do we have to collect all these? Oh, that's a portal. Okay. Or do we have to avoid the faces? Does anyone want to tell me what I need to do? <laughs> I'm playing this like a boulder dash game, but I, I, I really think there's... I'm, I'm not doing something right here. We can't go left there. Oh, we've already been through that portal, so it's blocked now. We can't go up through there. Oh, we can go through that. Right. Alright. It's counting how many moves I've made in the bottom right. Am I, is it just play like Boulder Dash basically? Collect all the stuff? What kills me in this game? Uh, collect the shields and four pieces of the map. What about these like horrible faces? Am I supposed to collect them or avoid them? What? Oh, fire switches between these. Oh, you can switch between them. Okay. So you got two things you can use. Oh. Oh, maybe that can. Oh. So that, that thing there is filled up, just below level one. So what was that? Sorry, I collect the shields and the four pieces of the map. We've got to collect the rest of the shields, right? Oh, missed one there, okay. Yeah, the music's going to get a bit annoying. Oh, missed one. So, uh, uh, am I... Am I am I doing things right here, guys? I bet one can go through one way, another can go through the other objects or something. You switch between the two. Oh, there's, that must be the exit, right? Ah, okay. 
And there's 47 of these bloody things to collect. Right. Yeah, the music's... I think the music's nice. It's not going to be to everyone's cup of, uh, cup of tea. But, uh Kind of like nice chilled out music. Right. Stuck there. I think I've gone as far as I can with this. So I shall place him at the exit. I, I assume that is the exit, right? I hope so. Oh, so he can't go through then. What can this shield go through then? I'm a bit confused. So that's a dead end then for him. Oh, there's more down there. Okay. Right. He can't go through then. Huh? I'll go through that. Oh, we missed a couple up there. We can go through them. Right. Oh, I see. He can attack up certain objects up and down. Not these. Okay. Uh... Oh, we can go through these sideways. Right. But not that. Okay. Oh, right, we've only got four more to get. <laughs> nice. Three more to get. Uh, but if this takes forever, guys, I'm going to move on. To <laughs> it's, it's a game to chill out with, isn't it, this one? Ah, right, okay. Two more to get. I don't know where they are. <coughs> Won't go through there. Uh, it's a very chilled out kind of game. Mm. Game to put you into a coma. More like Simmy's not pulling any punches there. He's like, yeah... This is boring, Zypho, move on, pretty much. That's what I'm getting from that. Did I did I miss anything? What we could buy we can't mm. Um Yeah. I'm now a bit lost because uh, I don't know where. Is there any other keys like uh, space. Oh! There we go. There's M for map. So it's somewhere across here. It's saying it's down here. I bet it's just there. Right, so we need to get this one out here. Now we know there's a map. That's a game changer. I don't think anything can get through them. Oh, man. We'd have to get round to it. So, Maud hated this at first. Uh, but now gives it a 5 out of 10. Yes, we got one! It's just that one at the bottom there to get to. That's the top. 
Too many moves. There we go. We had one more to get. But um, I'm going to leave that one for now for the stream because it's hardly that exciting, is it? <laughs> but that's cool. I like the look of that. That was, uh, so there you go. That was a bit of Zor, is that, if that's how you pronounce it. That was quite um, relaxing. Velociraptor wanted me to have another go. Ah. Not the sort of game Cypher would enjoy. I, I it, it would, I, I sort of liked it. It's got, first of all, it's got a Boulder Dash vibe, which I like. Um, it, I'd have to be in like a chilled out mood. And just wanting to relax and not really think too much. But yeah, that was all right. That was all right. Uh, we could do a Zor Amstream sometime just for the outrage from people. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um... Oh, yes. Um, Wayne wanted to see some Starquake. Actually, wait, are you still here, mate? Let me just check. When was he last in the chat? Uh, wait, are you still here, mate? I might have a look at. Uh, might have a quick look at. Um... Oh, actually, mate, he was here. Uh, he said to press M for map <laughs> earlier. That, I, if I'd seen that, I would have been really useful. We were, we saw the map later on, anyway. Yeah, he's still here. There he is. We'll have a quick look at Starquake. Wayne, I did do this a few weeks ago. Um, I can't remember on which stream. Um, oh, I remember this. I couldn't really work out what the frick was going on. Who knows this game well? And what you have to bloody do in it? Where's the manual for this? Manual is not really there on the CPC Power website. It's half missing. Damn. You have to collect pieces to repair your ship. Okay. I've killed the music there. Oops, never mind. I could do this. Yeah, I could use the specy manual to find that. Um, let's find our own keys, actually. Hit F. Uh, it's not working. Right, I'll load it up again. I'll just use the joystick. default joystick. It should work fine. Um, Find the core, collect all the random pieces for it. It just it could be is it gonna be anywhere randomly in the game? Uh okay, let's just start. And let's just figure our way out. Oh Touchdown imminent, prepare for mission Starquake, crash bang smash, touchdown. The computer malfunction. Mal funny thinking. <laughs> like that. Oh, we've got a laser, but. Oh, I see. So he can't jump, right? He can do that. But that takes up valuable battery, right? Oh. Oh, they keep respawning, right. Uh... You've entered the teleport. To code Vorex, enter... Teleportation... Enter Despin. Uh, De oh, we haven't been to any others yet, so we don't know, right? Uh, I don't know. Put the same one in. And it, 
and it's teleported me there. Right. Oh! It moves at a nice speed, this. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much a specky port. I see. Oh, we do that though. We lose the ability to keep doing that eventually. Is, is that a core thing we need? Oh no. What is going on? Oh, that kills you. Okay. Oh, I pressed pushed up there. What did that do? But now this is a dead end. Ah! God's sake! I was trying to shoot then. Why? Was Oh, that was a core element, was it? Number one, it was like a... F what? I picked that number one, it was like a chip. Uh, floppy disk thing and uh, a ha top hat on three legs. Oh, good night, Nova Bug. Take care, man. <laughs> and everyone tune in for Chris's stream tomorrow night on his channel, 10pm, I think, as usual. Right. Okay. So we can only go this way. Are the items always in the same place, guys? I picked up a joystick. I picked up a... I don't know what that was. Giant butt plug. Oh, okay. That did... over that thing right cool oh that's hang on that's a core part isn't it oh we got the flyy thing all right pick that up oh we need to get back to our ship right though I mean, I really don't know what I'm picking up and doing here, but... Where's our ship? Oh. It doesn't wrap around, then. Poop. No! Does that mean I've lost the fly thing? Just keep spawning. And sp oh yes, mustn't go near that thing. So what do I do next, then, guys? You take the pad uh, to the rough area you want to be in. Drop it off and go and put to pick up the core part. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a spiky thing. Uh, that spiky thing killed me. Right. Okay. I picked up a thing. Oh, I see. I could probably... No, I need to... There's a teleporter. I can get back to where I was before and put the core part back in. Oh, damn. Hang on. X. Hang on, why is it why is X not typing in? Uh whilst on the flying platform you cannot pick up those pieces, uh then you have to press button to pick it up. Uh I don't know why this isn't working. 
Hang on. Going on. Oh. Now we need... We need to get back to our ship, right? Because we've got a core part. Oh no! Run out of battery! Oh. Yeah, it's because I remapped it. I worked it out. Oh, we need a flying thingy. Don't we? Oh, because we're not going to get up there on all those platforms. No. We need to find a flying thingy. Oh. What? What's this? Cheops Pyramid? So you need uh, code cards for that or something. Interesting. Yeah, Vorex was the one. That's what I remembered. Oh, there's a... Ah! No! no! No, I just want to... There we go. So, have I not found a core part yet? Is that a core part? What's that thing? No, it's not, is it? Right, okay. joystick. I can't seem to get to it though. Okay, right. That's a bat- oh, that restores battery. Okay. Hang on, is that a core part? What's this? Then, uh, no, I haven't found a core part yet. Oh, that's, that's, that restored some energy somewhere. Okay. Bloody hell! Okay. What's that thing? Okay, can't do anything there. is extra life excellent hang on is that is that a core part oh no that's like one of those pyramid thingies isn't it bugger maybe it'll accept that code card too i've got oh no no so we can jump off here like that bugger Oh, he wants four and one to get in there. Oh, God. We're going to have a real trouble now getting up uh, back to the flying pad. Ah! I didn't do very well then. That's not a core part. It's like a flying sable. I wanted to see what that pyramid thing you would do with... That had a code card two or something. It's a wanted four and one, like I saw at the other one. So, uh, yeah, this you're right, Steve. This game has a lot of charm, but I unfortunately I have like le next to no clue what I'm doing in it. <laughs> Such a devious game. There's too much going on for for my for my little mind, I think, to concentrate on there. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, a couple of people requested this. I'm going to move on to another one. Um, for the return of Steve Foster, we're going to do some Satan next. Go to quit on the menu. Um, 
too late. Never mind. I think you did well as I was flying around the game nicely. I was just flying like with no clue really what to do there. But thank you, board. <laughs> Uh, maybe Simi, maybe maybe in a bit. We'll see. We'll get some more requests in a bit. Um, these are our existing requests. I'm looking at the moment. Uh, if you play again, it says Velo, find the core uh, to explore and find core parts and work out how to get them to the core. Right. Did I ever see any the actual core at any point playing that? Probably needed to explore a little bit further there. Right. Okay. Joystick. And off we go. This is a very colourful game. Very colourful Spanish game. Looks absolutely beautiful. It, unfortunately, it doesn't play as beautiful. It's at a very, very low frame rate. But it's still nice. No music. We'll put ours on. There we go. Nice concept. I like how it's um, you have to jump between the platforms like that. Is that a bit Black Tiger-esque? If anyone remembers Black Tiger, that was a really poor conversion to the Amstrad. See if I can figure out what to do here. Ah, uh, yes. It's a shame it's uh, really juddery, this one. Well, uh, Wayne, I hope you enjoyed your bit of Starquake there, mate. Sorry I didn't really know what I was doing there. <laughs> Maybe I will delve into, game, into the game in a bit more depth another time. I know you can go left there, but I wanted to see what's right here. Oh, nothing. Uh, it's pretty much a waste of time there. Right, okay. Oh, actually. Where does this take us? Power up, was that? Whoa, we've got a freeway shot now. Oh, it respawned. Son of a... Son of a bitch. Oh. oh yeah, they respawn out the ground. Quick, move, 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 move. There's a shield thingy there. I think we want that. So it looks really nice, really lovely, colourful graphics. Just a shame on the frame rate. It seems to be a common thing with a lot of Spanish games of this era. Um, lovely, colourful graphics, but really poor frame rate. I don't know why they always seem to struggle with getting a decent frame rate going in. Um, a lot of these Spanish games. No offense to anyone from Spain. There's some, some absolutely amazing games from Spain. Uh, but it just seems to be a common thing. Also, Spanish games are normally overly hard as well. This one doesn't seem to be too hard so far. Retro Gnome, I just said a minute ago, I'm not taking any more requests right now. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Wayne. This does look great. I can see why it's got a, lot, uh, uh, a place in a lot of people's hearts. If they could just have sold that frame rate, this would have been an absolute classic. It's a really, it's a good game. Oh no, I missed it. I can't. Ah! I'm stuck falling like this now. Let's go. Back up here. 
Oh, I've just done the same thing again. You can't reach that. Let's go. Right, we could get back up there. No worries, Steve. <laughs> Mr. Retro and Lim. We'll be taking some more requests in a bit. Don't worry. Oh, there's like a lightning bolt thing. That looks like something we want. I don't know what that thing... Did it do anything? Oh, yeah. I see like a light... If there's some lightning on the sprite when uh, at points when uh, an enemy comes near. No! Oh, thank God! I didn't want to do that section all again. Okay. Oh no! Oh, it's alright, okay. I, thought, oh, I was hoping I wasn't going to fall all the way to the bottom there. Right, come on, we need to do this section. Get over here, get up here. Oh my, oh, my energy was really low. Beautiful steady away type games I thought. Fiscal copies go for over £100 on eBay for this. Holy crap. What do those little blue dots give you from, from enemies you killed? Oh, lightning thing, lightning thing. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a smart bomb that kills all enemies on the screen. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Big jump there. Why can't you fire left? All right, I wasn't holding it properly. There's a C64 copy for ten pounds, really. I was in and wonder if it was not so good on the Commodore then. We near the end of the level maybe? I don't know. What's... Hey! Right, okay, what's this level two? No! <laughs> Wrecked! £75.34 cheapest. Steve's been looking. I am losing energy there. Oh, God. Right. I perhaps need to take this a lot more carefully. Oops. 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 No! And that was game over. <laughs> I think that's a good time there to give my eyes a rest now. I'm going to catch up with the chat and then I'm just going to take a very, very short break, guys. Uh, CBC Game Review says, I've got my copy of Satan in 1991 on a compilation called Six Appeal. It's not easy to find nowadays either. I've never seen that compilation before. Six Appeal. Who was that by? Ubisoft. I haven't got a box up scan for it on CPC Power. If you still got that, um, Nish, we need a box up scan of it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's me. I'm not taking requests just yet. Um... Right, yeah, the jerkiness of the frame rate spoils the game. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, I do agree, Simi, there. It's. Yeah, yeah, and Mame Hayes makes a good point there. Getting cameras right on this kind of thing is surprisingly difficult. 
Yeah, because the sunny swinging there, so the camera has to sort of increase in speed to catch up. And he's not keeping it sort of a fixed. He's not keeping the character fixed in the middle and moving with the character. It's like the character's jumping and then it's catching up. You're better off you not doing that technique. Um, there are better scrolling techniques. I think they've gone down the wrong route of like look how they do the scrolling. But still, it's still playable though. You run out of stellar, Steve. Oh, unlucky, dude. Unlucky. We got the other cheap plonking. Yes, I still have my box copy. Um, if you want, mate, if you have a, if you have a look at CPC Power, they don't have a box art scan of it, so I'm sure Kukul can would be very, very grateful to get that if you can. Hey, Robin Hook. So, guys, um, uh, I know we've got um, some other requests I said I'd do. We've got some Deliverance and Rescue and Fractalus coming up. Um, let me just mark off the games that I've done. I have, I, I've ended up keeping a bloody list. I said I wouldn't do it. Uh, we've got Frontline coming up as well. And uh, we might do a bit of Lotus, maybe a bit, a bit of North and South. Um, I think, I don't know if Retro Man Cave's still here, because he asked for Kabbalah earlier. <laughs> but um okay um you can i'll tell you what guys you can put i'm gonna have a little break uh just for two three minutes give my eyes a rest um oh wayne take care man good night dude thank you again mate thank you again so much um what was it you um for the twenty pounds earlier, I just wanted to make sure I got it right there. Wayne, thank you again, mate. <laughs> I love you, mate. I really wish we could have a beer so at some point soon. Take care, Wayne, and I'll see you soon, mate. Um. Okay. Um. So, uh, I've already got a few games coming up. So, those of you gonna, if you're gonna request a game, you're gonna have to wait a little bit because there were some good suggestions earlier. And that's something we'll probably stick to doing. And then we may have time for more uh, from this request um, list that you're going to give me shortly. Um, we'll see if we can get them in. Right. So I'm going to take a short break, guys. Um, please put your request. If you haven't had a request yet, put them in the chat now. Simi, now's your time. Um, I can't promise to get to everyone's. And my pleasure, Steve. Uh, my pleasure. Hey, uh, Satan is good there. One day I will do a long play of that. Um, so request the chat and I'll be back with you guys uh, in about two or three minutes. I just need to give me eyes a quick rest and get another drink from the fridge. All right. And I'll be, be right back with you guys and see what you've been saying in the chat. Right. Okay.
All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for sticking with us. Now let's have a look what the chat's been saying. Request for Pit Fighter. No, no. Um, see me with Ace of Aces. I'll, I'll make a note of that. I think I would like to play Ace of Aces. It's a bit slow paced. So what I might like to do is, Simi, if you're going to stick around, is maybe play uh, that towards the end of the stream as like kind of a chill out game, like to finish with or something like that. Um, Retro and Lim, that's a good request. Bounty Bob Strikes Back. I like the sound of that. That's a bit of a one we haven't really done much of. Um, thank you, Steve Foster. Mwah to you two. You're a gorgeous man too. <laughs> Um, Postman Pat and Bomb Jack. We've done Postman Pat to death. We did a big. We've played it for ages on the stream, and I've done a long play video of that. Maybe some Bomb Jack. Uh, if other people request it as well. Ace of bases. No, Ace of Aces. <laughs> Ace of base. Oh God, uh, it's not a marble stream. Fiendish Freddy. Oh, it was a while ago. Fiendish Freddy. That is a game i'd love to do a long play of might might do that we have done it we have done that a few times though oh match day two that would be fun i'm looking forward to doing a bit of a, a game of match day two i know um i'm only saying one request per person but i like the sound of bomb jack as well so um right um I don't know if Yellow Belly's still here. Uh, I know um, Notebook requested this one and he's gone, but Deliverance? If Yellow Belly is still here, say so in the chat, mate. He's probably fallen asleep, though, knowing him. <laughs> um, I will I will do some of that. Jimmy, are you still here, Jimmy Taylor? Um, oh, yes, and Yellow Belly asked for a front line as well. Uh, Relentless. We've done a fair bit of Relentless. I'd love to actually. I'd love to play a bit of Re Relentless. <sighs> Jimmy's still here. Excellent. We can get the Adams car out for him. Absolutely, Steve. Um, I like this format where we have on this Am stream where we have like one featured game and then we do requests rather than a pure request night. I like I like this format, although it's not drawn in as many viewers as normal. I'm still very happy with like over 60 viewers right now. Um, I think this is a format I might just do as a standard AM stream, and then we'll do a theme stream in between or something like that. Hmm. Bello likes that format. I've, I've just been thinking about it, guys. I, I, I don't need to have a themed one every week, but. Um, we could have a featured game, like um, and then then turn it into request night. I think that could be like the standard am stream going forward in the future, maybe, uh, and then have like the themed ones. Like we've got to do arcade to Amstrad. Maybe we'll do that next week, um, and then a week after, what were we gonna do? I don't know. Um, yeah, being one once and one for works. No, I'll probably be trying to do at least two a month because we've got to keep things interesting and uh, a themed one, which is like grabs people's attention, where it does draw in the viewers. Like the Activision stream last week did well. Arcade to Amsterdam always does really well as well. A <laughs> Star Wars theme. <laughs> I wanted to. Uh, uh, I was going to do one uh, on Twitch on May the 4th, uh, but unfortunately we did the Retro and Limb live thing. <laughs> Which didn't have any Star Wars theme that night. You missed a trick there, Retron Lim. <laughs> you need a live long play, so we not beaten like fly spy or aliens. We we done both. Unless you're trolling me. Uh, Robin asks. I, I tell you what, we're just having a chat at the moment. Robin asks. Uh, just wondering, guys, what's your most rare Amstrad game? I got um game. I've got a mint super cauldron and prehistoric on disc. Oh, I'm jealous of super cauldron. I do have prehistoric too. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. That is a very, very rare game. Lovely big box as well. Yeah, it's flipped in the camera. I know. 
So um, that is probably probably my rarest probably my rarest disc game. Um, elsewhere up on my shelf, uh, I mean we we showed this earlier on the stream. Adam's family, that's quite a rare one. Um, big box Ikari Warriors. Oh, actually, I know this one's quite rare. BAT, the English version on disc. Yeah, the UK release. Not the, the French one's way more common, but that's still rare as rocking horse poop. But the English one with the full manual. Excuse me, and uh, I think you've even got the story or the book in there or something like that. So BAT, that's that is extremely rare. I can't believe I got this at a really decent price as well. Recent, not too long ago on Fleabay. Um, other rare ones up on there: Blues Brothers Big Box, Titus the Fox Big Box, Prince Persia UK Edition, Lemmings, and Big Box Purple Saturn Day. They're probably my some of my rarest. Riser on disc. Um, got all the GX4000 carts. Mm. Yeah, that, 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 those, those are probably my rarest ones. There you go. I'd love to do a BAT stream. <laughs> Not TA Bigs. It's <laughs> reversing the camera. I'd love to do a BAT stream at some point. I need to practice that game. It's just finding time for it. What's your What's your rarest games, guys? Hey, no worries, Steve. No worries. I mean, they're always there to like uh, watch them catch up, but it's always better to be there on the night. I know, I know. But now you can be. So, uh, Activision Stream Part 2 coming up soon as well. So you, uh, Velo says... Sorry, guys. I know we're not playing games at the moment. I'm just chatting with you guys. I like chatting. Um, so you could do a featured game, featured publisher, featured theme, two-player stream, plus request night, new game... Oh, in those orders for the different weeks. Ooh. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm actually going to copy and paste that into my text document. Because that's um, not a bad idea, in a way. Well, have a, uh, then I know what I'm going to be doing each time. Yeah. Shed, uh, almost a schedule. Rob asks, has no one dumped the ROM for Chase HQ 2 and the GX4000 yet? No. But I, I'm working on something. I'm working on a lead. Although it's sort of disappearing out my fingers again. But mm, wait and see, guys. We'll see. I'm, I'm still on the case. I have been for years. Oh, Steve has Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. Um, that's a very rare. Paid a bloody fortune to it. I bet a lot of people who wanted to buy it on the eBay at the time. Well done, Steve. Well done, mate. That is very, very rare. I bet you regret not getting it now, Mame Hayes. Because <laughs> even if you didn't like the game, you would have been getting some plenty of muddies now. Uh, Texky says, I've just noticed that Starquake actually got released on the 16-bit Atari ST and Amiga. Just looked at them both on YouTube, and I'm disgusted at the slowness. The Amiga version, really? That is really slow? Bloody hell. Robin Hook has got Adam's uh, family and the Ikari Warriors. I love the big box of Ikari Warriors. Sorry, I keep getting up. And, we, and we, we, will, we will get to some more games shortly. But look at the look at this big box. Now, Elite at the time, a lot of their disc releases were in these like really small, crappy cases. I'm not always a fan of a lot of the Elite boxes. Um, I'm trying to see if I've got any on my shelf. Really tiny. I'll, show, I'll, give, I'll find one. Oh. Struggling to get this one down. There we go. Right, just for comparison, um, here's a Space Harrier, and it's almost like a cassette size box. That's this is a disc, a Space Harrier on disc. Lovely cover there, to be honest. But um, but yeah, which one do you prefer? <laughs> you know. Hmm. Uh, Retro Lima's Jack the Nipper with that stupid badge. Nice! Holy crap, I've got Jack the Nipper. I wonder. I've got the original one. 
I wonder if the badge is still in it. I'm gonna have a look. I keep getting look. I keep getting up and looking at my shelves. Oh. Bloody hell. Let's have a look. Here's Jack the Nipper. Do I still have the badge? No. Oh, it's missing. Oh, I just found something. I'd lost. Jack the Nipper 2. Was I put it. It's inside the, this. I'd lost Jack the Nipper 2 and I found it. Well, I didn't find the badge, but um, that came in the game. Of Jack the Nipper 1. But I have found Jack the Nipper 2, which I had lost ages ago. I put it inside the Jack the Nipper case years ago because the case got broken. I remember now. Thank you, Retro and Limp. Thank you. <laughs> uh, text yourself a special limited edition SNES Donkey Kong Country 2. DD comes with cost me $29.99 shortly for the census run. We're worth over £200 now. Bloody hell. Excellent. Right. I like this session here. Just us and Psycho Perry notes and answer releases. Yes, this is good. I like this because I'm free from the shackles of a fiend stream and having to get X amount of games in. And I can chat to you guys if I want to. Hmm. Yes. Me too, man. Me too. Um. Oh, you have the big box Jack Nipper 2. Am's chat. We did have a bloody... Yeah, hang on. <laughs> I got you, Arnie. I got you. Check it out. Am's chat. <laughs> See, I, I'm always... I've been I'm meaning to say... I, I've been forgetting to bring up this image here. So people know when we're not playing games or we're having a little bit, bit of a chin wag, I could bring up the Am's chat logo. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Arnie. <laughs> Uh, Retro says, I'm a Titan 2600 Heavy 6 has sealed on all the gatefold launch games. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Right, let me just get my drink here. Having a good old Ams chat. Ooh. Box Sunset Riders snares. I love Sunset Riders. I haven't got many of the kicks um, ones, Robin. Uh, I've got loads of, quite a lot of Hit Squad. I took off them out of kicks there on my shelf. But only about, nah, only about 10 games or so on kicks. 3, 5, 12, 13 kicks games. Oh, I prefer collecting Hit Squad. If I had to collect a, if I had to collect a series of Amstrad games, probably Hit Squad. Because there were far better games. They've got a nice matching spines that would sit on a shelf. Kicks changed about three or four times, didn't they? Their style. Um, and there's a nice numbering system on the Hit Squad releases as well. Nightbreak, do you know if it's possible to get the scans, etc., from Super Super Mario, the watermark on them? Yes! Yes! If you. Um... Hang on, if I just. I'll show you. I'll show you, Bello. One second. Where's my display capture gone? And then we'll get to, we'll actually get, get to some games in a sec. So if you're on um, CPC Power website, there you go. Actually, um, Nish. Yeah, you can see there they're actually missing the box art for um, Six Appeal. I don't know. Let's just say you want Star Wars. Let's just find Star Wars. Uh, there we go. So if you if you go on their page, um, so you got that this, you need to click that icon there, the little bounce. I don't know what the hell that thing is. It's a bouncing disc thing, and you get a download, and then you'll get a pop up like thing here, and it will download the image without the watermark on it. There you go, Velo. I got you, buddy. I got you. <laughs> Typo, uh, FC Daniel, what, what you thought about the new 
fact, the new tech demo of the next gen new Unreal Engine two days ago, it blew my mind. Uh, I'm reserving opinion on that because the footage I saw just kind of looked like a cutscene. I want to see in-game footage. Someone there with a controller controlling a character and then them swinging through temples and jungles and stuff like that. Um, I'm withholding opinion until um, I see some proper actual real gameplay action. Right. Okay. Uh, where's my AMS chat logo? I'm going to have to remove that now because I think we're going to get to a game. And then we can have a we can have a chill chill back again and have a bit more of a chat. Oh, there we go. Right. Um, okay. Right. What game are we going to look at then first? Ah, do you know? What? I just fancy a quick game of Match Day Two. It was a great request. I love Match Day Two. We did do. I did do a big. Um, Top 10 Amstrad football games video on my channel. I really, really enjoyed making that. Ace of Aces is on the list, Simi. I told you we might be doing it a little bit later, though. Um, I'm afraid to play Crystal Kingdom Dizzy again in case I get read error A. <laughs> ah, you'll be fine. It's discs you have to worry about, discs degrading and stuff. Uh, player one keys. Yeah, that's cool. One player match day. Oh, Rob's not a fan. Thankfully, this won't take long. We'll have, a sh we'll have one match and then we'll move on. Right. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you, Simmy. Yes, um, the menu was reused in Head Over Heels, Batman and stuff. Whew. Even if you're not a, fo a fan of football games, you got to admire and, and like the charm of this. <laughs> Look at that, headers there. Oh, could this be going in top corner? Oh, what a beauty! <laughs> Woo! Unlucky, Stevie. You sure you got nothing left? Nothing under the uh, counters in the kitchen or anything? It's not like you can just nip out to the offy quick now, is it? Beaver. Now you can shoulder barge players out the way. I'm trying to do that there. <laughs> Thank you, Simmy. That was a good goal. Oh, oh no! No, 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 no! The computer and no pushover. Oh no! Come on, keep it, keep it. What a save! <laughs> What a save there. That was Peter Shilton's mighty sausage fingers in action there. Oh, they've scored. Bugger. <laughs> well, like I said, they are no pushovers. So, yeah, you've got a power meter at the top there. You can pretty much tell how that works. But um, what did he? Uh, the programmer John Ritman, he has a what's he called it? The diamond deflection system, where it works off. Um, it it'll bounce. The ball will bounce off a player at the right angles and stuff like that. Uh, so if it hits you, I don't know. Well, you can see it in action here. Look at that header. And you can do some very clever goals then from he from your headers and stuff like that. Pass the ball down there. Come on. Off, off he goes. Bit of a volley there. Nice. Jumping volley. Oh. 
The only problem with this game, guys, as I said in my Amstrad uh, soccer game video, is it's too slow. It just it needs to be about twice the speed. No! He's trying to chip my keeper. Keeper saves. Oh, let's get it away. No! Keeper, what are you doing? Ah! Oh, he, he scored the same way again. <laughs> CBC Game Reviews, Nish. Take care, man. Good night, dude. <laughs> Thank you again. Lovely to have you here. And um, we will um, join me Discord and we'll make sure we get your uh, uh, new YouTube channel spammed out and stuff like that, mate. Oh, it's Gorka off. Hang on, sorry. Did someone say Night Night Gorka? Let me pause that there. Did I miss Gorka there? Gorka, I'm sorry, mate. I missed you there. Jeepers are more tidy than a real. going to hit the hay. Have a good and one all. Gorka, good night, mate. Take care, dude. <laughs> And uh, oh yes, thank you uh, for. I think you had a dono earlier, didn't we? So thank you, Gorka. Let me just check that. Uh, he did, yes. But Gorka, thank you again for that, mate. Much appreciated, dude. You take care. Lots of love, man. And Nish, we'll see you again soon, buddy, as well. Thank you for all the work you're doing on the uh, Amstrad scene. It is greatly appreciated by everyone, including your fantastic games. Hope to see some more of them in the future. Right, come on. Oof. The game is too slow to speed up the emulator. I don't like doing that because it feels like I'm not playing the game as it was intended. Now barge the guy out of the way and then run around and then look at that. Let the ball run. Right, big ball into the box here. I'm barging this guy out of the way. Can I get to it? Oh, I've got the header wrong. Big long chip ball. I'm just going to nudge this guy out of the way. Oh, it bounced off me back. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, second half. Hey, Cyril. Good evening, mate. Good evening, sir. How you doing, mate? Can you exit? Execute a back heel. Yes, you can. Um, uh, if you see here, there's a minus thing. When it's in the minus there, that will do a back heel. But I think I don't have the option turned on before we started the match. Uh, zip, we're talking about zip sticks there. Uh, Conic speaking for me, though. Uh, Velociraptor World was asking, uh, do you prefer this or Emlyn Hughes? Emlyn Hughes. If you did see the uh, football game video, um, uh, Velociraptor, a couple of weeks back, spoiler alert, Emlyn Hughes won. <laughs> yeah, we did top 10 Amstrad CPC football games. And there could only be one winner. I do love a bit of match day two though. I've grown to love it. I never liked it initially back in the day. I thought this is slow and rubbish, but um, there's a lot of depth to this compared to most Amstrad footy games. I'm trying to use the shoulder barge there. It is a bit of like hoofy up the pitch and hope for the best. Oh, it bounced off the back of me. No, I tried to control it and I mucked it up. Oh. Hit that on the volley there. Oh, God, I think I've just helped it on. <laughs> the opposition there. 
Viper, have you ever played Swaz, Sensible World of Soccer? Yeah, we did. I did some Amiga streams. Sensible World of Soccer, I would have loved as a kid back in the day. I would have been absolutely obsessed with it. Unfortunately, I was absolutely rubbish at it. Just shocking for me. I'm not really good with arcade soccer games. Oh, 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 that's me kicking it into my own goal. Get it out. Hoof it, hoof it. Um, but yeah, we did it on a couple of Mega streams. I want to play more of it. Rowan. Um, without playing more, more of it in depth, I can't say for certain if it's the greatest football game ever, but it could well be. I need to play more of it. Oh, got a free run here. Thank you, Cyril. Yeah, we're doing all right, mate. I hope your family's safe and well too, dude. Hope you're coping all right and stuff. Yeah, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's the thing about this game, though. It just it just moves too slowly. I mean, Emily Hughes doesn't, doesn't like, move at rocket pace or anything like that, but... You can get up and down the pitch fairly quickly if needs be. It's, it's agonising after getting the ball all the way down the pitch and then getting tackled at last and then watching the computer just take it up the pitch away from you after it's taken bloody ages to do that. Oh! Headed in! Oh! Oh! It bounced away! My player get to it first. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, Rowan. Oh, sorry to hear that, Tom's fun. Yeah, a lot of people are having internet problems at the moment. Hopefully, it'll settle down now. Now it's getting a little bit later at night, and you're out of peak hours. I thought Kickoff Two was a great footy game. Not on the Amstrad, I'd say. I, it's completely unplayable on the Amstrad. After looking initially very impressive. Big shame, kickoff two. Could have been one of the best footy games on the Amstrad. But they absolutely cocked it up in several big ways, unfortunately. But I hear on the Amiga and ST and stuff, it's a bloody classic. Oh, we're in the 80th minute. Ten minutes to go. And we, oh yeah, we're actually in the lead, aren't we? <laughs> oh no, they're in the lead. Oh yeah, 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 of course, of course, because that's the uh, soccer armor of them. Long range chip shot. But I'm going to go for the header. Cheeky header. Oh, just over the crossbar there. Oh. Oh dear, they've mucked up the goal kick. Got a barge in him. Oh, he's got around me. You cheeky bugger. Uh oh. It shot a bodge him out of the way. Right, we're nearly in the 90th minute. Oh, we lost. See, the computer is no pushover. They give a good challenge there. There you go. But yeah, the back heels, I think you could turn them on here, Etcher on them. Uh. Oh. oh, yeah, it's there. Quick ometer. I think we want it on all kicks or something. Computer skills le uh, the computer skill level was low there. Bloody hell. Right, there you go. All right, we're going to move on to the next game. And let's have a look then on our request list. Uh, so that was fun. A bit of match day two there. Uh, I've not seen Yellow Belly in the chat for a while, so I'm going to hold off on his requests. He may wake up and pop back in. Yellow Belly, if you're still here, mate, sound off in the chat. One sec, guys. I'm just going to get my drink here.
Right. Um, no yellow belly. Right, fair enough then. Um, yeah, we had a request from Jimmy for a bit of Lotus. It's a shame it's not a short, shorter game to play Lotus. It goes on for a bit. Um, hmm. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> well, come on. I'll tell you what. We'll do Lotus after this one. Let's have, a, a, let's have an old school classic here. Bounty Bob Strikes Back. This is from Retro on Lib. Did someone say Relentless? <laughs> Maybe. We'll get to it. It's on the list. I'll put it on the list, even though we've done it a bit too much recently, I think. Well, it's been a few months since we did it. Bounty Bob Strikes Back. There we go. US Gold, converted by Abasoft. Level one, Bob's Morning Calisthenics. So if I have a gun, what do I need to do here? Oh, we have to. So, oh, right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tell, tell me more about this game. So, oh, we need to cover all the floors, don't we? I remember this. Bugger. What does the gun do? Hello, Will74. Welcome to the stream. Why can't I climb up the ladder? Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, when you collect an item, you can tempt kill the aliens. Right, okay. Welcome to the stream, Will. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to see. I'm trying to remember if I um, recognise the username. If you've been here before, because if you're a new person, we like to make a fuss of new people, make them feel welcome. What? Oh, no, it's just too hard to land on them. Right, okay. Thank you, Jimmy, for giving Will a nice welcome there. So how do we... Is there a way of doing a shorter jump or something? Ah! Uh, oh, I've, the item ran out. Right, I've, re I've just realised something. I can jump up straight and then move. Right, that's a game changer. So we've got to cover all the floor. There we go. A good start. I think you've been here before, haven't you, Will? Um, I do forget people's usernames sometimes. <laughs> ah! No. No! God damn it. Game over. All right, we'll get better. We'll get better. I've, I've cracked it now. I know what to do. Kill that one. Come here. Come here. Right, there 
There we go. How did I survive that? No, 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 no. I wanted to jump up there. No. Oh, God. Zai fail. Ah! Right, I'm screwing that up again. Bugger. Uh, various elements of the game take time, multiple attempts to figure out, but once you do, you progress further and that becomes very satisfying, Zyfo. I can see it. It's drawing me in already. Ah! God, it's so easy to make a mistake. Frustrated when he get it wrong. He's happy to use the ladder to go down. Here we go. Hey! I finally did a level. There we go. Ha ha! How do you... What? How do how, you get out of this? <laughs> Surprise, dickhead. Oh, got wrecked. Utility hoist. <laughs> Hello, Retro Beast Games. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Back in. Might as well kill this alien. Oh! Oh! Ah! I don't need to. I don't need to kill that um, alien earlier. Hey, the Avocet Paneer. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Thank you for being on my team on uh, Betty's stream after my last night, dude. We smashed it. Oh, and I wrecked it here. Ah! Nearly said a swear word there. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, actually, no, we're okay because we killed that one in the middle already. Oh, 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 gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Got him. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, dude. Betty's a good streamer. <laughs> He's one of my faves. Actually, Betty was the very, very first person I really watched on Twitch and subscribed to, actually. Ah, oh, hello. Got him 13s here. Welcome, my friends. <laughs> and of course, guys, just to remind you, Gollum is working on the Ghost of Goblins remake currently. Oh, I ran out of the thingy in the ending. Game over. I used all my lives. Oh, bugger. All right, one more go. I'm enjoying this. How's the work going with um, Ghost of Goblins? 
Betty is nuts. He is. But he's actually, he's actually a very smart guy and very intelligent. He's actually a registered nurse in America and he's very, very qualified at that. He's, uh, he's no dummy, Betty. He's one of the good uns. He's just a very, uh, shall we say, passionate individual. <laughs> Save that. We'll get him with the cake. There we go. Uh, Steve Foster says, uh, hang on, I adore this game. It's simplistic graphics and initially frustrating play. Uh, this guy's a very clever game that rewards on repeated plays. I'm enjoying this. I want to play more of it. Now I've figured it, figured it out. Whee! I'm liking it. Is this a conversion of an arcade game, guys? Bounty Bob. Is it, um, or is it a uh, kind of a original property? I still haven't figured this out very well, though. Okay. Oh, I've got it now. Hey, I'm not dying for ones. Now, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a snapshot there. I'm gonna ex I need to experiment here. Right, bounty bob level two. Now, if I walk right, will it walk into the lift or will, will I fall through the gap? I fall through the gap. Right, okay. I figured. That's why I took a snapshot there. Oh, actually, no, we survive. Uh. What? Hang on. No, hang on, we need to... Why won't the lift move? Can you only use it once? Oh, you have to press space bar now. An item to kill that guy. Above us. Oh, and we can jump into him. We can jump into him, can't we? Ha ha ha! Get wrecked! Woohoo! That's how we do it. Okay, so then we get the lift there. Oh no! How'd you get the lift down? You don't. Does that mean it's stuck there? How the frick do I do the rest of this level then? says the original he thinks the original release was on the Atari 4800 uh, uh sorry for Atari 400 or 800 uh Mayfang says no never an arcade oh right so this is uh, an, uh, an original game will ask any news from Vespertino on the CPC no not at present but I, I I I know they're hard at work on it I don't think Batman group are gonna let us down on this one it is a bit like Chucky Egg it's got a Chucky Egg feel to it um so there's no way to get this bloody lift thing down. Because that, um, that, that is unfortunate. I know the timer goes so slowly. That, that. All right, we'll, we'll do a reload then. Now, 
we get to the... No, we can't. So bring the lift down here. Jump to get that guy. Come on, let's get him here. Now this is the bit we don't want to screw up. Uh, hang on, so we just get in the lift. That's it. Okay. No! <laughs> then you screwed. Burger. Ah, oh, that was like I was about to take a snapshot there. But I accidentally jumped right, uh, jumped left or something. I didn't mean to hit that then. Yeah, well, let's bring this all the way down. Ah, who called me a plonker? How very dare you, Steve! <laughs> oh. oh, 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 oh! Come here, come here, come here! No! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> More! Maud N with the 299 through the super chat there. Thank you, buddy. Let's get you an, an, an Alan Sugar dancing for you. We'll give you two Alan Sugars there for being just over two there. Uh, and let's see some bananas in the chat from Mr. Maud. Go on, lads. Get your bananas out. Thank you, Maud. Thank you very, very much, mate. That's very, very much appreciated. <laughs> Enjoy your dancing sugars. <laughs> Sorry for getting you hooked into this. Yes, your fault, Retro and Lim. Thank you guys for all the bananas there for Maud. <laughs> Right, well, that this little sneaky turn of an alien got away from me, but we should be all right. Right. We'll take a snapshot there. That's harsh, man. That's a harsh jump to pull off. Or judge. God damn. Woo! Right. Now, are we better to work our way up or work our way down? That's the question. I think we're probably better off work away from the top, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Hardy. <laughs> no, that's a that's a big fat fail. Actually, we'll work from the. Maybe we're better off working from the bottom here, actually. Bugger! Yeah, that's good. Right. 
Taking a snappy there. Just. That's what we need to do. That's how we finish this level. Hey! <laughs> there we go. We're now in level three, the suction tubes. I'll just pause it there. Oh. Bloody hell. I wonder how many levels there are in this. Uh, Ali says that is a big fat wee English for Icelandic football team was I can say in 2016 fail. Was it? <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> you got further than me, Zypha. I didn't know you could move the lift across the right. <laughs> but now you know, dude. But also, I needed snapshots to experiment there and figure it out. It's cheating. Probably in your book, anyway. <laughs> GG and lots of woo. Live, lo a long play live stream on this. I think this would, would drive me berserk trying to do it. On one uh, without um, snapshots and stuff like that. Let me just blow my nose a second off camera, guys. Sorry, one sec. Reaching the microphone. Right, good stuff. Um, I don't even remember that match. Some Icelandic uh, England versus Iceland and Iceland beaters. I, honestly, I don't. Honestly, I don't remember that at all. I do follow football a bit, but not that fussed. Right, let's have a look. Oh, the tubes take us directions. No. Right. Hang on, did I take a snapshot? Oh bloody hell I didn't. <laughs> it's got this one little platform to get. Got it. <laughs> Oh, we've got moving lifts now. Oh, this is going to be evil. Game over. I'll have another little look at this level. Oh, you are kidding me. There we go. Oh, I need to watch that platform more. Oh, I fell through it. Okay, that's just... <laughs> I had it there. I had it. All right. We'll have a couple more attempts and then we'll move on to another game. But this is fun. I love the old schoolness of this and the charm. Come on, down the ladder, down the ladder. Let's get this alien git. Gotcha. So now we need to get all the way back across. I'll take a snappy there. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. 
All you gotta do is jump when he gets near. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, hurry up, because we're gonna run out. Yes! What's that? Oh! Oh, I didn't realise that would suck you down. So that, that tube goes... Right. I'm pleased no jokes about being sucked off there. Right, okay. Oh, hang on, there's Anna back. Did I miss Anna? Oh, hi, Anna. Oh, that was the worst Oculus I had in years. Really? Oh, Anna, how are you doing at the moment? Have you had lots of uh, paracetamol? And as well, aspirin probably is better. Uh, we need to talk uh, in private on Discord about your migraines, Anna, and get yourself sorted. Oh, Jimmy, you're about to call it a night. I'm really tired to play my request another time if you want. I won't be here. Play some else this question. The service is still here. Good night, everyone. Jimmy, I was going to do Lotus next, but if you have to go, you have to go. But I'm just letting you know, I'll do it next for you. Um, but uh, if you are, Jimmy, thank you for tuning in, mate. Take care and good night. And all the best to you and the missus, mate. And stay safe. But if you want, in the next few minutes, um, if you want to stick around, I will do Lotus next for you. Uh, do we want to use this item? We probably do. Kill this alien. Come on. Got him. We're gonna have to go up, aren't we? There, okay. Oh, but we don't have an item to kill this um, git. How are we gonna do this? Fart nose, jump it. The only way we're going to do this is by... If he's... Oh, no, don't need me to do that. Get to the edge here. Jump on a jump. Double jump sort of thing. Maybe. Maybe. Nah. I don't think it's possible. I think we are wrecked there, pretty much. Yeah... Uh, <laughs> what was the Velociraptor said there? Hang on, I just caught it. I believe you made a... I won't repeat that joke, Zypho. You, that's in terrible taste. You won't catch us doing that. Gosh, no. <laughs> yes, things can tend to get a bit saucy here some nights. Some nights. Um, yes, we've just looped the music there. Um... Did you get, a, was it a proper ocular one, Anna, with all the flashing lights and colours and swirly whirly patterns? Good night, Jimmy, again. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to get any jokes about <laughs> Steve Foster. <laughs> uh, I will tell Mrs. Sapo about that. She'll, she'll laugh about that. <laughs> Wait till he comes to you. Do you reckon I can jump over him? Good night, Jimmy. I'm sorry I didn't get your request, mate. I'll do it now if you want to. All right, you can't keep my eyes open. Off to bed. No worries, Jimmy. I feel bad now, man, because I love a bit of Jimmy here. I want to keep him happy. Um, next time we do a request-based thing, Jimmy, we'll make sure we get yours in a lot earlier. All right, okay. You can, re you can remind me of that on the stream. You have an awesome weekend, Jimmy. I'll see you soon. <laughs>
Yeah, like some of them just be blunt smacked pickaxe in the glass of my eyeball. Oh my god, Anne, that sounds awful. Um, I haven't had a migraine for bloody months. I think it was like October or September last year, and then I had one uh, the previous month. Uh, it had been about six something months before in between them. And so when when I had mine last month, or whenever it was, boy did it hit like a mother trucker. Oh, awful. All right, let's try that. Um, Retro name records you can jump it. I don't reckon you can. I'll try from. Oh, oh. Hang on. Do it. Damn. Right. Okay. Want it. Try to get him as far to the right as possible. I don't think it's possible, Retro on Limb. I think yeah, I think you're basically stuffed now. Unless. Ah, oh, maybe. If you jump at the right point. Oh! Ah! It is possible. It is possible. I mean, come on. Oh, right, okay, I'm doing it. No, you got to get it absolutely perfect. you got to, yeah. Now, didn't it too soon, too soon. Right, ready... <laughs> Sorry <laughs> for the girly scream there, but I need to get back up there Right nearly had it there No nope. We got this guy to contend with. Bloody hell. Oh. Don't fall down, go back. How are we gonna get reload it? I think we didn't quite get it. We've got to Yeah. Kill all three. I think. That's my problem, Ven. I, I'm getting I'm getting sucked down. We've got that one little bit there. We've got to get back to that bit. And I don't know how we do that. Oh, we can. We can get back to it from there. Fan, fantastic. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> then I cocked it up. Play Bob's Playroom. Oh my god. Oh, let's. We'll take a snappy there. But I think I'm probably done with Bounty Pop now. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, Lloyd. Welcome to the stream. Is that Sir Ababol game or request? It's a request. We um, Sir Ababol was the first game of the night, and we we beat it in the end. We beat it in the end. Knew you could do it, but imagine trying to do that about snapshots, retro and limb. Yeah, just, nah, nah, nah. Uh, Anna, ping me a message tomorrow on Discord privately, and um. Tell me everything about your migraines. If I can help, I, I could be a very, very big help to you. If it's ocular migraines or migraines with aura, which is like the better title. Um, uh, leave that. Come back and kill... Oh, yeah, because you're going to be coming down this way, aren't you? Oh. Okay, good stuff. Right, we now need to... Oh, hello. No, 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 go this way, go this way. Kill the alien, kill the alien. That's what we need to do. Oh, it didn't kill... I didn't uh, do that... Um... Down the edge. Or did it there? Oh, it's done it now. Right, okay. Let's go back. There's one little bit there next to lift number two. You see that? Didn't do it there. Mmm. One little bit not filled in. Right, the lift's all gone wonky. Okay, we're good. Uh, oh, we can't get to that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to go up here. Get to lift three. Oh no! Oh no! There's a there's an enemy to kill there. We've screwed it up. Top right. Um, over the far right there. There's a bit that he's actually that needs to be covered. Possible the right monster still alive? Not impossible, I reckon. So if we get the chandeliers here and then come back. Oh, no! Oh, for God's sake, did it mean to do that? Oh, the time's running out. Oh my God, look at the time. Uh, do you know what? We we'll probably should leave Bounty Bob there and move on to another game. So we'll get a, a few more requests in. All right, so. I've got Ace of Aces coming up. Not forgotten that. I'm going to do one for Velociraptor. We're going to do some Relentless. Even though we have done quite a bit of this game in the past. No version of intro sequence. Yeah, we want the intro, right? No infinite life. Stop and zone five. One of five. I'm going to pause the music here. I think there's some background tunes here. Rescue and Fractulous. Possibly. I know I had it on the list earlier, but I've done one for you now, Retro on him. I'll sit back and enjoy. Just, uh, I'll put the music up a little louder. Okay, look what I got here. Steve will like this. I 
I've actually, I, there's one game I have purchased, a brand new game, Titanic Software Relentless. I bet, I bet Steve's got this already. Hello, FC Den Hog again. Uh, do you have a trivia game like the C64 version? Um, what do you, uh, what do you mean by that? I don't, I don't, not quite sure I understand the question. Could you uh, elaborate on that? My pleasure, Steve. I didn't know you were a fan of that one, so I'm glad you were. Difficulty medium. We'll go on default settings. Oh, oh you've got it when it came out. Excellent, Steve. Excellent. Nice music there. Just a scene game. Well, it's a homebrew game. Uh, why is joystick not working? Oh, right. I'm off the emulator. Right, there we go. Oh, yes, you've got to build up your score meter by destroying waves of enemies. Bonus meter at the top of the screen there. Bugger, that was stupid. Hit the scenery. One day, I'd actually like to beat this game from start to finish. I haven't yet. Actually, I've become very close to it because there's only five stages in it. I get so sidetracked by clearing waves of enemies to build up that bloody bonus meter. Often ends up getting me killed rather than actually beating the game. That was close. So I think this was 2013, 2012 this came out. And there's also Super Edge Grinder from the same author, around about the same time. Axel A, who made this, also did Sop Hunter, Star Saver, uh, Dead on Time, I think Dragon Attack as well. Really, really great games on the Amstrad. Probably one of the more prolific homebrew guys to keep up a, a, a really consistent high level of quality as well. I am in touch with him, and I did ask him, because he hasn't done any games for a few years, if he's actually uh, still doing Amstrad stuff, or if he's kind of done with it. And he tells me he's been working on a brand new game with a few other people for a, a long time. So th you know that game is going to be absolutely bloody epic, whatever it is when it arrives and when it's done. But that is good news, guys, to share. He is working on new stuff. And it's been a long seven years so far since the last Axelay game. Woo! He got caught out. Damn! Damn. Mine is nice. I got the limited clamshell one. Ooh! Did you now? <laughs> Damn you! There's a clam. There was a clamshell one. Sweet. That I'm. I am. That's nice. Thank you, Respergu. Yeah, we went through some of my rarer games earlier. I don't know if you were there earlier in the stream. <laughs> uh, Zypher, trivia games. Just questions. Don't know if there's an Amstrad version of it. Trivia games. Is that literally the name of it? Uh, there isn't one called just trivia trivia games. I mean, there's arcade trivia quiz simulator, and we did pub, the pub trivia. We did do on a stream not too long ago. And of course, there's Trivial Pursuits. Uh, that's it on the Amstrad. <laughs> uh, we end up a quiz tonight. Um. Possibly, I didn't want to step on Yellow Belly's toes too much because he's doing his pub quiz on Sunday, but maybe we could. Oh, Dead on Time. Yes, that's another one from him. Uh, from Axelay. 
2012 or 2013? 2013. So this is the last one from Axelade. Um, I think. Unless Super Edge Grinder was. Let me just check. Uh, I'm a Super Edge Grinder. 2012. So Relent Relentless is the last game so far from Axelé. There's his name at the top there. Um, but he tells me he's, wor he's working on a project and have been for a long time. Um... Yeah, Relentless would have blown away folk uh, if it had been creative released back in the 80s and 90s. Oh, definitely. And he confirms to me that this is running at 50 frames per second, right? Which is pretty unheard of on the Amstrad. It would be, I think it would be literally impossible to get any more frames per second out of an 8-bit home computer than that. And it's absolutely liquid smooth. Some people are not a fan of the graphics. I love the graphical style here. But it seems very vectory. All made up sort of, of lines and stuff. But it's really colourful. I can't believe I lost life there. Bit of flicker there on the uh, turret bullets, but we'll let, you know, only a minor thing. Damn, I've got to kill myself because uh, I'm not going to get to the end here. We're <laughs> losing a life so early on. Yes, this shows the CPC can move a lot more around at 50 FPS than most would expect. Yes, indeed. I'd love to see this running on a real CPC. Oh, I could load it up, uh, but I won't be able to get a camera on it tonight. I've nearly set, uh, Ret Vel Velociraptor says, I'm, I've nearly set up my retro room. I'm really looking forward to playing Pinball Dreams on Relentless on real hardware. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Yes. And Mission Genocide runs at 50 frames per second. I believe so. Yes. I believe it was. And I'm currently looking at, at that game as a potential video for my channel. So watch out for that Velociraptor. Close. Ooh. Okay. And you think Star? I saw that message actually. Starquake. You think that was maybe 50 frames per second of the sprites moving around, but no scrolling. I mean, that's still very, very good. It's more impressive when you get a game scrolling at uh, 50 FPS. Oh, we're building that bonus meter up. Oof. Oh, we've got a full bonus meter. Oh, get to the end of the stage as well. And get wrecked right at the end. Right, zone two of five. Actually, I'm happy to play this one again because I want to see if I can actually beat it one day. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. New enemies that take two hits to kill. Not ah, no. I'm losing my bonus now. Although I don't really care about score. Nearly 
got hit there. But this is a very, very impressive achievement on the Amstrad. I love this. Oh, Ooh, is this zone three we've got to? Yay! But I've only got one life left. Lots of bloody turrets. Better that time. Better. Better. Oh. Uh, Steve likes the graphical style too. It's like Eyeball or Eyeball 2 redesigned as a shoot em up. Oh, we were doing that. We were playing a lot of Eyeball a few weeks ago actually on stream. But yes, I, I like. I love the graph. I like the art style here. Some people aren't a fan of it, but I think it's um, got its own unique style and look that makes it stand out. And that's good. Um, gives it a very... Yeah, Rob thinks it's very Tron-esque in a way. Yes, I like that. <laughs> oh, good night, the Avocet Paneer. Oh, well, I'm going to, again, so I'm going to go sleep. Night on, cheers, I hope you've been better, Anna Zero. Oh, bless you. Um, we all hope Anna's doing better as well. But as I said, thank you very much for tuning in, mate. And thank you for your support, as always, dude. Um, you take care and good night, mate. And have an awesome weekend. We're going to give this uh, Relentless a couple more runs, I think. Um, and then we might have a look at Ace of Aces. What was that? Some, more says Destructo. What was, what was he asking? Is there a flawless CPC game? Oh, I love Dr. Destructo. The Island of Dr. Destructo is probably my one of my favourite Amstrad games. And it's one I never had as a kid. Was this released on the Spectrum? Uh, no, I don't think so, Jason. This might have got a C64 release. I know Edge Grinder did, which is the previous game. Hmm. I'm going to take everyone have a great weekend. Says Johnny Boy. Thanks for cracking the stream as always, Zypher, buddy. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Ahoy, Johnny Boy. Get, get some sleep, shit, mate. And I'll see you very, very soon, mate. Take care, dude. Have an awesome weekend. All right. Let's have another go. I'm going to focus more on these bloody turrets than killing waves of enemies if I want to get through this. Come here. Oh, you little turd. Oh, getting a bit of lag there. Sorry, guys. the turrets first. They're the ones that cause me the most problems in the game. There we go. Zone 2. Excellent. Oh, nearly got caught out there. Sugar! Wow, guys, I do so well at not swearing on streams. Ass! <laughs> I still did, though. I, I very, very, I could have said a very rude word there. 
This is down to one life. I'm doing very well at not swearing and then a giant loud ask <laughs> came out. Oh well, oh well. Ah, this is where I died before, wasn't it? Oh no, no, we got to zone three. close. Sorry I'm ignoring the chat, but concentration. Oh, those turrets fire more than one sometimes. Sometimes they fire twice. Yeah, that's caught me out. Oh, I thought that was the end of the zone there for a second. Bloody hell. Outrun needs a new CPC port. It bloody well does. I wish they'd just turned Vespertino into like Outrun CPC or something. Vespertino, what a strange name for a game as well. But that's going to be the nearest we're going to get to it. Ah, liquid arse lol. <laughs> Then again, Mame Haze, I've seen some very smooth strolling games on the spec in. I'm wondering like, how the hell they managed it without the uh, CRTC tricks. Then again, I'm struggling to think of a specy game that does have it. Uh, okay, FC Den Hog, no worries, dude. Thank you again for the Twitch bits. Very, very much appreciated, my dude. Thank you, man. And um, lots, of love to you. lots of love to you, mate. Good, uh, have a nice weekend. All the best to you and your family as well. Was someone did redid Outrun on the CPC? No, no. But um, someone did like a PC remake, but with Amstrad graphics. So that makes sense. I, I don't really like those kind of things. But no, Vespertino is the new racing game coming to the Amstrad. It isn't trying to be an Outrun game, but is pretty close to Outrun by the looks of it. Right, one more go. Come on, I'll say one more go. If I could just get through, like, these first two zones without losing a life stupidly, we've got a shot. We've got a chance. Can I quit and start again? Damn. Go on, kill me. Right. Sorry about that, guys. There's no point trying to do a run on it if uh, you die so early. Get the turret, Zypho. Kill the turrets first. Good start. Frick! Don't say things like that, Zypho. Don't say, oh, this is going well, because you bloody well know what happens. Literally seconds after you say something like that, you end up bloody dying in a bloody fireball. Ah! Trying really hard not to swear. <laughs> 
always bloody curse it by saying something stupid like that. I really am a massive fanny sometimes. I, know, I should know better. Always the kiss of death. <laughs> oh no, I hit the scenery, didn't I? It looked like there wasn't any uh, bloody scenery there. That's a little downfall in the graphics. Sometimes it's so dark uh, that you don't... You couldn't tell if that was scenery or not. I couldn't hit there. Not going to be able to hit that turret, so ignore it. I'm going to be able to hit that one. Alright, zone three. Okay, good. Watch out for them. Feel my eyes starting to get tired here as well. the edge there. Oh. <laughs> Spec you could just still do things that CBC could only dream of. That's why there's no clear winner. Um, what do you reckon about what do you, um, you could maybe give an example Mame Hayes? What could the Specky do that the CBC couldn't? And what's the link there Velociraptor? What's that? Oh, the Cytronic software link there. Thank you, man, for sharing that. Yeah, that's where you can get it from. Oh, there's a special collector's edition of Relentless available. Oh, you got the clamshell. Ooh. Ooh. Tempted. I'm tempted by that. Are they all doing special clamshells at the moment? Because I haven't got... I'm sure I've got Star Saber. I don't think I've got Dead on Time. Hmm. But I want Disc though. I'd rather have Disc. No, they're not doing no Disc anymore. Damn. Thanks for sharing though, mate. Right. <laughs> Great start, famous last words. Yes. I'm a fanny. <laughs> What time were we at then? Um, Simi Baseline, are you still here, sir? Mr. Simi Baseline. Um, let me know in the chat. Sound off in the chat. I'll give you. Because he's got. He had a request he wanted earlier. I'll give you 10 seconds. have gone all right so what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna give this one more run and then we're gonna find a game to finish on tonight i think i'll finish around about two o'clock we'll see what how, how we feel all four of those games are available in clamshell nice shane cytronic are not doing discs anymore by the looks of it on their website Oh, I'd like it. I'd like them on this personally.
Because if I buy them on cassette, if I, if I'm honest, I'm unlikely to load them up. Because I'm a disc guy. And therefore, I'd just be collecting them to go on a shelf, which is kind of against my rules of buying retro-related stuff. But I, I make an exception for New Amsterdam games, if that's the only format available. Right, come on. All I want to do is get to end of Zone 5. That's Okay, zone two. I thought I was going to lose a life there. Oh. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I hate those pink ones. God, it's such good. It's not just the scrolling on this game, the sprite movement is so smooth and precise. Allows me to pull off like quite dangerous maneuvers like that. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Try so hard not to swear on the stream, guys. I think I do pretty well. <laughs> often it's replacing words. The F word often gets replaced by farts. Like, what the fart just happened there? Oh, no! Last life. Oh, if I get to stage four here, I'd be happy. Nearly got caught out there. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close as well. Bloody pink ones. Woo! Yeah! Zone four, baby! I'm happy. We got we got fair in the game then. I think if I had a, a life or two spare in the bank, we had a chance of beating it. But um, we'll see how far we get. Oh, I had to scratch my nose there. Gorgeous graphics on this stage. <gasps> the 
got to zone five. Woo! I don't think I've ever got this far before. It's the final zone. Should I have taken the lower route? the end were we it might let us scroll to the end of the game here that was a good run I'm gonna call it there on that run on relentless don't worry <sighs> yeah still had quite a way to go there I should... although I didn't get a very good score ironically because I wasn't getting all the bonuses and building that oh, that was exhausting to watch imagine trying to play that one day, I will get to the end of Zone 5 and beat it. It won't take long to do. Jogstrad! Hey, how you doing, Chris? I didn't know you were watching. Did I miss you in the chat earlier? Oh, well, well good night, mate. <laughs> I guess you've just been, like, uh, chilling with me on the big screen or something tonight. I don't know. But Jogstrad, take care, man. Have an awesome weekend, dude. Take care, man. Uh... Hello, my chicken not raw is here. I know oh, you're blast from the past. How you doing, mate? So that was relentless. To see you there. Uh, it was a game released in 2013. Mm. Oh, there you are in the chat. You were in the chat there before uh, uh, Jockstrad, but I, whilst I was doing my run there. Hmm. <laughs> That was brutal. A bit of busy boy. Sorry, Jockstrad, if I missed your uh, points. Thank you, Steve, there as well. Yes, absolutely, Main Haze. Uh, again, a sign of a good shooter, you could play for survival, score, or if you master it, both. Absolutely. So, guys, we won um, last game of the night. Uh, last, last game of the night. What shall we do? I mean... Uh, Ace of Aces was guessed by Simi, but he's, I think he's left us, unfortunately. He's probably, he's probably fallen asleep. Um, I think he also requested Bomb Jack. That's quite fun. That's a good, fun game to finish on. Does anyone have any suggestions for our last game tonight? And I think I'll just open, open it up to requests again. I'll just get my drink here. One sec. What have we got coming in there? Z9K9. Hello. Welcome back, sir. Have you ever played Splats? Yes. Um, by Paul Shirley. He of Mission Genocide and um, Spin Dizzy fame. Also Quacker Jack for Amsoft. Yes, I'm familiar with Splat. Krypton Factor. Oh, God. Star Glider, um, no, because I'll have to get all the get all the manual and the controls for that. Too too complex for last game of the stream, I think. Eliminator, Mike ZT, I did see you earlier. Did I say hello to you? I did see you pop up in the chat earlier. So I think you popped up just in the middle of someone dropping a dono or something. So I missed you. I'm sorry, Mike. How you doing, Eliminator? It's not a bad idea. I haven't played that in a while. I know, you were on the Marvel stream as well, my chicken not raw, but like you were one of the old schoolers of the Am stream and uh, you were, uh, and uh, you, you know, you, you, we didn't see you for a while and that's cool. Um, uh, Solomon's Key, yeah, something more chilly out -y. Late on time, Zypho. Did you mean dead on time? Um, I don't know a game called late on time. 
Probably mean, uh, yeah, I think I see Steve, I'm assuming, dead on time. That's another from, um, um, Axelay. Well, that gives me a, an idea. Um, there's one Axelay game that I haven't really played much of, and I think that's Dragon Attack. I'm sure that's one of his. And that was uh, entered in a CPC Retro Dev competition. Let's see. Yes, it was. I'm going to grab the disc anyway. I've been meaning to check that out for bloody ages. Hey, no worries, Mike. Thank you, man. <laughs> Been so cool. I just downloaded that. I might do Dragon Attack, because it's giving me an idea. Not quite dead on time, but it's another game from the same time period from Axelay. Do you know what? We started off with a brand new um, Amstrad game. We might as well finish on one. Beat Chase HQ. <laughs> I love a bit of Chase HQ. You know I do. Uh, Velociraptor really wants Star Wars. Ooh, did I get one of your requests in earlier, Velosa? Velo? What was it you asked for earlier? I've forgotten now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get Dragon Attack up. Um, and then maybe if someone comes up with something else, we might do another one after. Oh, this is actually Axelay's last game then, not Relentless, because this is 2016. Oh, you got Relentless, didn't you? Interesting graphics here. <laughs> What's the style of art there called? Like almost like ASCII art or something. What's the options? Control. F fire mode. Standard or inverted? I don't know what that means. My oh yes, Velo, you're not a fan of bullet hell, are you? Um this is kind of a bullet hell game on the Amstrad. <laughs> Wide awake here and lovely leaves. I just want you to keep going now, Zyko. Selfish bugger that I am, so enjoy being back. It's lovely to have you back here, Steve. Really made my night tonight having you here. Death smiles flashbacks. Yeah. So maybe I won't play this for too long, because it might make me a bit too cross. Now, this is a very simple. This is one of his. He, he did this game very, very quickly for the competition. So, um, yeah, obviously, it's not up to the quality of Relentless. It's a small game in a few kilobytes of memory. I think he's done a really, really good job here. But remember, Bullet Hell, you only die if. You see that white pixel in the middle of the ship? That's your only hitbox. Ah! Got him. Oh my god. Look at how many bullets are on screen on the Amstrad. Way we did it. Oh, holy crap. I haven't got a, I don't think we've got a smart bomb in this we can use. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
Whoa, that's tough. Dodge the do dodge the dots. <laughs> That's correct, Steve. So you could only find it on the CPC uh, dev uh, cassette release uh, with the rest of the games. <laughs> All right, we'll go. Uh, we'll have, maybe have one more go. Yeah, the music's ace as well. Try and attack the centre one as much as possible. It's really hard to concentrate on where you're actually hitting whilst avoiding all these bloody bullets. Concentration here. Sorry, guys, ignoring the chat here. Oh, I actually killed him. Oh, this is the last one I got to, wasn't it? Good in my eyes. Oh! Oh no! Come on! We can do him. Yes! Oh, look at this dickhead! Oh! dropping bombs out that then explode and spread out. Nice touch that. There we go. <laughs> and that's the thing, I think with Dragon Attack, I don't feel like I want to come back and play more after if I get to this point I feel like yeah I think I'm done <laughs> a health bar might have been nice yeah true mm. Woo! right we need a we need a game to finish with tonight then um, we had some good suggestions so far let's have some more some more suggestions in the chat then guys It's fairer than Galactic Plague. We could do an old uh, Mamsoft game to finish with. That'd be nice. Drag on attack. <laughs> Better across. That's kind of fun. But I'd really say this is a perfect execution of a concept within the limits of the hardware. Indeed. Uh, Axelay's a very clever guy. Velociraptor, exclamation mark, Bridget in the chat. And he spelled Bridget like the girl's name, Bridget. <laughs> oh, I, just, I will do it. Roland on the run. Oh, God, no thank you. Ring 10, that rings a bell. Is that one of them bouncing balls, but you have a bat, but it's a 3D one? I think I have that. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I have that, yeah. I'm not playing Roland on the run, no. Cobra, bloody hell. The Stallone Cobra. Cosa Nostra. Oh, isn't that that? Oh, this look that that's oh yeah. We're gonna check out Cosa Nostra. This I'll check it out. Might not might not be last game in the stream, but that's a great request. I've been meaning to come back to that this game for bloody years. I know it's a Spanish game. It's gutted that I didn't they didn't get a uh, UK release. But um, if I remember, this is really, really good or fun. Oh, God, Manic Miner. Maybe. Maybe. I'm still gutted after my bad performance on that Retro on Limb show with uh, Manic Miner. Nice laid back music here. So what do we have to do? Uh, Zombie Peaks, help me out here. I know we run around and shoot bad guys. Oh! Bugger. Oh, that was just ammo. Oh, are we not supposed to shoot the cops? Oh, oh I think we are. Because we're a bad guy. Cosa Nostra, that's like uh, Mafia, isn't it? So I don't know what the purpose of the game is. Uh, what's Zombie Peak saying? You have to find the kill, uh, find and kill the boss in each area. Right, okay. Oh, that's the problem with single screen games. I got wrecked as m immediately as I went on the screen there. I have seen this once before, but um, it's a long time ago. Go left here. Oh, there... About basically, is this like basically shoot everyone? Is everyone bad and evil in the game? I assume so. Oh, they keep coming out the bank. Didn't realise they'll keep keep spawning. Can you actually go in the bank or any rooms? I don't know. Hello, Martin. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Um, usually the boss is protected by two others. Right, right. Base, uh, okay, right. Shoot. Oh, there's a mad axeman. Can't seem to shoot. Maybe I should just avoid him. Okay. How are you doing, Martin, anyway? Got him. I shall leave that pick up. Ah, don't let them touch you either. Oh, Finn del Jugo. Can't kill the axe man. We'll just avoid him. Right. I like the graphics. Lovely music here. Nice shooty sound effects. And I do like kind of like run sort of these kind of like shooty games. Oh. 
Bloody hell. Bugger. This is what happened before. I got immediately wrecked on this. Look at that. That's poor game design. And a problem with single screen shoot uh, without single screen shooters that don't scroll. Alright, we'll go the different way then. Um never seen this game before. I don't think a lot of people have actually. I think it was popular in Spain. Uh but it was only got released in Spain, um, unfortunately. We went right before. This time we'll go left. When you go left, uh, if you go left and you start, you start, it's kind of easier. Okay. Oh, is this where we... No, it's not. Oh, for God's sakes. Right, you can't kill the people in the windows. There was no sprite to kill anyway. The bombs were just flying out randomly. Um, kind of fun though. No one's in the park. Okay. Reminds you a bit of Electro Freddy when you pick up those boxes. <laughs> Is that a subtle hint to play some Electro Freddy? <laughs> oh. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I wish the music played throughout the game. Okay, so Zombie Peaks, you help me out here. You tell me where to go. Right, we'll keep. We'll go left from the start. Got him. Don't like that bomb where that bomb was coming. Oh. Oh my god! I got immediately. Oh, this is poor game design. That's a shame. Lost about, what, two, three lives there? Left two screens. Oh, you want me to go this way? Right, okay. Is this where you wanted me to get to uh, a zombie? Oh, 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 more, more bad guys spawning. Oh, was that the boss? I don't know. Yes, right, we know where we're going. Right. Right. Aha. I was just stuck in that corner there. I could fire away diagonally and won't get killed. Son of a bitch! What? The plant pot killed me this time! Oh, an enemy's respawn on a previous screen. And we were doing well there. Actually, that's not a great place to be. Damn. All right, we'll see if, we'll see if we can kill the boss and then maybe we move on. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Steve. Go and you'll find your first boss. So we gotta keep, do they keep spawning forever? Uh, or will they stop spawning eventually? What? I shot that guy! Come on! There are some very unfair moments in this game. Right. Go, 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 go! Oh, 
Uh oh. I think we've got a. I think it might have crashed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what do you, I wonder if it's because there's like too many ammo boxes dropping there or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god, I just want to see the boss. We're getting so close. God damn it. Facebook. Maybe I got a bad uh, dump of the game. It could be a bad dump. Let's have a look. I might... Oh, my mouse has died. Hello, mouse. Oh, okay, thank you, mouse. Uh, Cosa Nostra. Oh, this actually got released in France. Hmm. Uh... Right, so I'll get the disc just in case. There we go. Right. That's just a demo running there. Cause a Nostra. There we go. Blimey! I've just seen the box art for this game. <laughs> I'll try and bring it up on stream for you guys. Hang on. Uh, I think you need to see this. <laughs> uh, PKF. Uh, sorry, just capture code. I need to enter there quickly. I think I'm going to do a long play of this game at some point. This looks kind of fun. Uh, put it Cosa Nostra. All right. All right, hold on a sec, and I'll bring it up for you. Let's add an image into the stream. There you go, there's the box art for it. <laughs> I thought that was like blood. Is, is that blood dripping from his forehead from the bullet in the middle there? I've got Marilyn Monroe in a rather saucy pose on the uh, on the cover there. <laughs> there you go. And yes, we don't want a bad dump, do we, Retro and Lim? <laughs> nice box art there. There we go. Right, okay. Hopefully this one will work a bit better. French version. Sadly no UK version though. <laughs> Tough guy. Right. Got him. We get our ammo. There we go. Uh... Oh. Hey, excellent. I'm going to take a snapshot there because I don't trust it. <laughs> something bad not happening. Right, Cosa Nostra. Apparently, the boss battle should be up here. Okay, right, here we go. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I was doing so well. I'm, just getting, I'm getting wrecked repeatedly. I think I did him there. I'll do this again. Yay! La Parin es en fin tomba. Right. There's the first boss. So, zombie peaks. Uh, we need to find the second boss. So, when you see people spawning, there's a boss nearby. Oh, there was that bar There was that bank, wasn't there? There were loads of, loads of people that were coming out the bank. Spawning out. So, do you know where to go next for the next boss? You need to play faster, or is it just me? It... I don't know. I wonder if 
it is running a bit faster. Why are the building names in English never had an English release? That's interesting because points there and record. Actually, no, record may be a French word for high school or similar. I don't know. Any French speaking people here? Look at the boxes here. See if there's any English language boxes. No, I don't see it. May, uh, so it was released in France by Laurie Seals. And they often did like a UK release. It doesn't look like they did though. Uh, but this is uh, from Opera Soft, which is a Spanish company. They have their own stuff. So, yeah, I don't know then. Um, it says go, what, go up? I think I remember. What, go right then up. Oh, I say. Yikes. It's not here. Oh, bugger. on have we we looped around somewhere else here oh there was a guy in the window we could kill oh no the bombs are still coming right oh no bugger jim appel dave <laughs> hang on is this is this Police station. Probably a bad place to be. What? What does that say? Anyone? Can anyone translate st uh, um, French there? Why am I get? Why? Why is my points going up there? Did I do something good? Uh, so it's two uh liquid liquid a liquid a le chef. De la police corrompu. You killed the corrupt police chief. <clears throat> I think that translates apparently you've killed the corrupt police chief, so that's probably a possibly a good thing. There must be other he's like one of the bosses then, right? <laughs> Pretty much, uh, Zombie Peaks, yeah. So, uh, so we've done a thing, <laughs> right. Hang on, we're back to, we're back to where we started, aren't we? Hmm. This map confuses me. My hovercraft is full of eels. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Never, never finish this game. The map is complicated. Mm. Here you go in sewers. Oh god, not like Werewolves of London style. I like the concept of this game though. It's kind of cool. Uh. Damn. I think we're just wrapping, uh, warping around here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, fin de jeu. <laughs> And there you go, guys. Uh, I think I'm done with that game. Um, ah, what shall I do? What shall I do? I am getting tired. I probably should call it a night there, guys. It's gone way past two. Any of our friends streaming at the moment? Let's have a look. Probably not. 
No, it looks like I'm the, I'm the only person <laughs> streaming at the moment. Um, so I've got anyone to send you over to. I think I'm... I think I'm going to call it there, guys. I think I ought to. Uh, I should have finished before two tonight. I've been trying to finish a little bit earlier and spend more time with the family the next day and get up a little bit earlier. So, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Um, let's. Um, I'm just going to reset that. So, that's nice. I like that. Great request, Zombie Peaks. That's, a, a, that's why I love doing the AM streams like this. Finding some on. Let's say. Um, Undiscovered gems and rarer things and stuff is always, always good. So there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Lovely to have some uh, old familiar faces pop back here, as always. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you, especially Ratty, Sir Alan Sugar, Gorka, Zimwazi, Wayne, uh, Sergio... Uh, Matt Lee, Lewis, Retro Man Cave and Maud for the donos tonight. And also, wow, um, Pete Walker becoming a £10 patron tonight. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you everyone who's uh, given me a like and a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't already, please get, click that like and thumbs up button. Uh, I'd very, very much appreciate it. Uh, wow, we hit 85 people concurrently tonight. And not as much as last few weeks, but um, that's still good. I'm happy with that. Um... So, lovely time spent with you all tonight. I really enjoyed chatting with you a little bit more as well. We shall do more streams like that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next week in terms of the AM stream. Uh, but we are very soon coming up to our 100th AM stream very soon. Um, so, we should do something special for that. And don't forget to catch me on Twitch in the week. Um, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I might take Wednesday off, though, next week, uh, or one of those days. Um, can't promise I'll get a long plane review video done for Monday. The game I'm working on, I haven't beaten yet, and I might not have time to beat it in time for Monday. So, Monday's long play might slip to next week. But I could put um, Sir Ababol as Monday's video, seems as I beat it tonight. Hmm, there we go. Thank you, Retro Beast Games. Much appreciated. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, what time do you appear on Twitch? Um, you start. No, usually don't get any earlier than half past eight. Uh, British BST summertime. British summertime. Um, so eight nine o'clock ish. Um, so there. Thank you, Steve Foster, Mr. Mame Hayes as well. And yeah, I'm oh, still over fifty people watching. That's mad. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. Good night. Um, thank you, Maud, Texie, Cyril. Steve, Z9K9, Taxi, Mike, ZT, Retro on Limb, Main Haste, Retro Beast, Zombie Peaks, uh, Rob DeLorean, Jason, Velociraptor. If I've missed anyone there, I do apologize. Thank you, one and all. And as I'll leave you with the words of Steve Foster long live the Amstream. <laughs> there you go. Right, stay safe, stay good, and I'll see you soon, guys. Have a great weekend. Take care and good night. Bye. Actually, yeah, we'll do that there. Bye. Music's finishing. Good night. Woohoo.